right, hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. How are you all doing today? How's it going, Carcinogen? How's it going, Nightcloak? Hello, hello. I've changed some of the audio. Let me know if it's better. We brought down the sound of the game a bit to uh, make it a little easier to hear me. If it's too far, let me know. No Conans? No, we ended up going through and finishing what we were going for on Conan. And we've been putting off playing this game that won the, the vote for us to actually play for... What was it three weeks? Four weeks? <laughs> um, yeah, Code Exiles kind of bulldozes our, our schedule for a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong... We're not starting a new game. Oh, hey, look at this. Actually, we can choose difficulty and skill and time with that. That's cool. Um, uh, hold on. Let's restart the game real quick. <laughs> I forgot. We have to hit load. Uh, old games. It's okay. It takes literally no time to get into the main menu again. Because <laughs> good old old games. Right? Bam! We have returned immediately. Look how fast it is to load this game. Alright, that's right. Load game. Bam. Yeah, we, so it looks like we had that kind of control for... We can play. Uh, or or um, the difficulty if we play, do another playthrough on it. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back to Conan. We'll be back to Conan. But uh, we're done with our Conan playthrough. We we managed to fight a tier five purge, which was the main goal. Was uh, play around with that and the bark uh, keep the bark the the tavern system. And then when chapter five comes out in like what five weeks or something, we'll circle back. Oh, we'll do. How's it going, Balinor? How are you doing today? This engine, you got an update on what happened. Uh, that one story from yesterday? I am blanking on what that story is, Carcinogen. <laughs> I'm blanking on it. Our guys are kind of meh right now. That's not good. That's not good. All right, Grand Bahamas. What are we looking at? Let's go and uh, take a quick recap here. So we have everything but the staff. No, we did get the staff. We have everything. Nice. We have everything. Captain's log. Captain's log. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness, the English is at war with literally everyone. So actually, if we go ahead and just start beating up the English, we could probably start, like, rapidly pushing ourselves up the ranks in the Spanish, French, and Dutch uh, navies. Oh my goodness, we have 4.2 thousand acres. That's crazy. Yeah, so I think we're just going to start... Uh, we, should, we should just start focusing on English, who live around here. Do the Dutch have an outpost around here? They don't, do they? Well, there's a there's, there's a mayor. I don't think a mayor can pass us, can give us some um, authority for anything. Yeah, we have to come all the way over here to get the get rankings up with the Dutch. At least we could do like the French and the Spanish here. So I think we're gonna go and start bullying the English for a bit. So what we'll do is we'll start bullying the English. Start getting our rankings up there. What else is going on here? Let's see, there's only two pirates left in the pirate rankings. Blackbeard and uh, Jim, uh, Lafayette. We'll track them down at some point here, but uh, we've almost knocked out every other pirate. It's crazy. We've got all of the special items we can get. They're content currently, which is fine. We've only been on the high seas for five years. Wildly. Absolutely crushing it. We've got spice and sugar we need to drop off. Where can we drop off sugar? I feel like we're in an area where sugar is not the best for selling. Luxuries, Nassau. Yeah, sugar's not that great. Uh, Grand Bahama, no, three. Newton, Florida Keys, I imagine it's pretty bad too. Man, it's probably not that great. Well, 13, 17, 17's not bad. Spice over there is really good. Santiago. Santiago's 21. We'll, we'll start moving towards Santiago then. That'll be good. We'll do that. Your character's daughter had a... Your character's daughter had a playdate... Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. You were playing Crusader Kings 3. That's right. Okay, so your character's daughter had a playdate with your vassal's kid, but she accidentally killed the vassal's kid. The vassal kidnapped and beheaded your kid for killing their kid. And when you tried to arrest him... With a 75% chance of success, he escaped and <laughs> you were hunting him down. Okay, so what happened? Did you manage to track down your vassal? Put him in his place? 
I imagine down here sugar would be worth more. Now it's only six. It's five. Okay, I guess we go to Santiago. Yeah, sugar's not that amazing down here. Okay. Santo Domingo? No. Yeah, Santiago is where we want to go. Oh, my goodness, the spices, though. Is there something we can pick up spices on our way in? That's a lot of spice. Uh, trade. Trade. Does a whole bunch. Trade fluctuations. 49 here. 29 here. Spices are worth 8 here in Point Royale. So Port Royale we could go to. And try and take some take some stuff from there. Is there spices around here we can have? That's how you selling spices for 15. Not like we need that much money. Uh, we're, we're doing quite well, but more money is always good. All right, so let's just go ahead and raid English ships on our way all the way down here. Santiago. Uh, then we can go ahead and offload our sugar here for 21, which is a good enough price for us to go and lighten up. Ah, yar, how's it going, Straw? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so your vassal ran away all the way to India, where he was later captured and burnt at the stake for heresy. <laughs> wow. Maybe, maybe he had a worse death over there. Maybe the worst death. All right. Let's do a quick cap zog. Let's get right into it. Captain's log. Actually, is there a date? Yeah, we can get a date. Um, Captain's log. September 24th, 1665. We have gone on a wild adventure. Mostly spending our time in the southern section of the Caribbean, as well as the eastern ports, we finally moved ourselves to the far north and western edges, all the way up to Caracas. After gaining a bunch of experience, crew, strong, a stronger ship, and taking out many notorious pirates, we managed to save not only our sister, but also avenge our family by knocking down and taking out uh, the Marquis Montalban. Now, with a little bit more, uh, with a little bit more to go, with ranking up through the navy. Gaining some more personal wealth, two more pirates left to track down, a whole host of treasure to go and find, and the final bits of our lost relatives and some cities we might go track down. Maybe romancing. We have much to do. Much to do indeed. And thus, we are off to treasure. Let's go. And log. Let's go. Captain says, uh, said you called me strong, which is acceptable. There you go. This is, yeah, the acceptable pirate name. The strong one? Yeah, one, two. We've got two over here right now. We need to go and bully the... We need to go bully the English here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and bully the English. Unpause time. Un... All right, unpause time. Gotta hit and unlock first. Gotta unlock it. Alright. Wow. This merchant vessel is actually quite strong. Dealing with the shot. Run. Alright, they got us. Alright. Uh, also, is the audio better today than it was yesterday? Is it too quiet? I want to make sure it's not too quiet. But I do hope it is better. out of the water here. Uh, they're about to, about to be sunk. Go ahead and knock out some crew. Alright, let's go ahead and get them. Nice. A puny amount. Oh my goodness. Well, some luxuries. We'll take the luxuries. I don't really want to scuttle this, so we'll take it. Let's see if we can go and get this green ship as well over here. Main bad guy, it looked like it was spelt right. Oh, pirate raiders, what's this? I'm gonna nab these pirate raiders while we're here. Grab these guys. Do repairs ever become free based on rank? Uh, they not, I actually don't, I think they do actually become free at one point. I think you're right. I think they do become free at one point. I don't know why he's chasing us. We've got twice his crew count now. We'll stop him from chasing us this way. There we go. Can't chase us now. 
<laughs> no wind in your sails. Alright. Oh, easy. <laughs> Got him. I don't know why he was chasing us down like that. Upgrades become free, so capturing ships, repairing them, upgrading them, all for free. Just to sell them sounds <laughs> lucrative. Oh yeah, I bet it is. What we gotta do is uh, capture a bunch of ships and get ourselves ranked up if we want to do that. Did you just say taxes? Is this a tax ship? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be very nice. Whipped. Entirely whipped there. Right, fire. Oh no, another huge whip. Let's go circle back around. Let's go grab this scoop real quick. The merchant vessel only has 42 crew members. We can easily take it here. Yeah, 29 crew. Just nab this real quick. Bunch of spines. Like that. Uh, yep, we'll go hit the one that's escorting as well. We won't leave him behind. We'll go grab him. How's it going, Fuzzy Wuzzy? How are you doing today? No, we're, we've finished the Conan playthrough. We're back onto our regularly scheduled programs. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday be Pirate Day until we finish this game. Uh, and then we'll have a vote for what game replaces it. And then uh, Wednesday, thir or Wednesday, Thursday is going to be back to zombie games as well. We're going to play State of Decay again. And then we might do more Conan on uh, weekends, but I think we're just going to be waiting on uh, wait until the uh, next chapter. Or, yeah, until the next chapter before we do more Conan. Come here, you. Our boys are in better shape. A lot happier now. We can attack from here? Wow, that's great. Get him! How are you doing, Fuzzy Wuzzy? How has your weekend been? Didn't see you yesterday when we were getting right back into the streaming schedule. But hopefully it was a restful weekend. Not very good. Alright, surrendered. They have, like, no crew. Perfect. So much food. Alright. Go land in the Grand Bahamas real quick here. Drop off as many of these wrecked ships as... Hey! Um, England. It oh, look, there's a pirate hunter here. Are you sure you want to come after me? I think I can take him. Hey, uh, England, I, I think I think you lost some ships. I found them. Uh, would you like to buy them back? It's just a small finder's fee. That was amazing. Totally with us. Oh, that's gonna be bad for our sales. Oh, jeez. Get him. Oh, that was really good. Go back around. Oh, we're so close. One more. One more volley. There it is. Got him. How's it going, Mickle Goose? How are you doing today? You love this game? Grew up with it? One of your all-time favorite games? Love to see you playing it. It's such a good game. Remaster would be nice for this one. Yeah, no, absolutely, Green. How are you doing, Green? All right, let's go ahead. Oh my good gracious! This pirate, sh this pirate hunter ship had a lot of guns on it. Oof. She's got the pretty face. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure. I don't know which of the. Uh, I can't remember how the the flirting and courtship stuff really works. I don't remember how it works. Oh my goodness, gearing up for court tomorrow. Uh oh. Are you gonna be there to watch and judge? Oh, we can actually. We could just take the town. I was just complaining that there isn't a Dutch port up here. I think I think we just take this and give it to the Dutch, yeah? 
We need a Dutch port up here if we want to get progress. Our goal is to bully the <laughs> the English right now. I, I think I think we just, I think we're gonna go take this down. I th yeah, I think we're gonna take this down. Oh my goodness! We don't we don't need to sneak into town. We're not gonna sail away because we have so many ships. We need to get this sorted. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Let the dark side flow through you. Having a couple Dutch outposts is key, uh, in key locations seems like a good idea, especially if you want upgrades. Yeah, plundering it. Yeah, I think that's. I think we're gonna need to do it. I think we need to do it. We're gonna have to do that. All right, let's do it. Battle plans. Uh, which start location do we want to go for? I like this one. It gives us a lot of cover. I just have to remember there's all these shift things. I can't press and hold it because sticky keys is a thing. But uh, skip, toggle. We could toggle grid. We can see the grid better if we really care to. View center. Okay, that's back to where we are here. Skip, turn, zoom, retreat. One, two, move. Okay. Uh, we can also go to next unit. We'll start with officers, though. Let's move these guys up. Right, let's get up and going. Uh, you also conquered Brittany in your CK3 game. Nice. Which is later split up. And uh, gave you a character on Hill saved by one of the provinces. So you promoted the culture. Those created a crazy bastardization of cultures. Oh my goodness. You're just like. So Brittany is now just a bit of a hodgepodge. <laughs> Uh, so you're in a state to get uh, rental assistance. You have to go to court. Which first, oh, I see. Okay. So there's the impact of it. 18 months. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, you gotta take care of that. For sure, for sure. Well, hopefully, everything works out well. Good luck. Good luck, Fuzzy Guzzy. I know you got this. You got this. All right, uh, let's move the Buccaneers up. I think we only get half movement in the... Yeah, we only get half movement in the... In that terrain. We're gonna try and... We're gonna get a distraction crew to the far right here. Everyone in the brush gets cover. So we're gonna stand down just in the opening here. Just straight up in the open. Uh, what does control give us? Uh, turn, that's right. Uh, switch target. That's right. So we're gonna go for this guy. This is the one that's important. That's where we're going to have our flanking guy coming in from. These buttons are just moving. Yeah, we'll have these pirates move up as well. Pirates move as well. Okay. So these guys are going to come in here because they can't see us. So because of that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take advantage of angles and just scoot up and around and grab them, allowing us to move two squares instead of only one square from there. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to the pirates here. Let's just make an aggressive dash forward. Uh, these pirates, we can't quite make it to the ones in the bushes there. Uh, what we'll do here is we're just going to move up, and then we're going to fire on, yep, these guys in here with cover. We want to make sure they don't get any advantage here. Uh, for you... Two sets of Buccaneers. Now we need to move out. Move up and over to give cover so that these Buccaneers here don't get shot at. And we'll move these guys up. Okay, so the guys in the jungle now have no chance. We can go and get this shot over here. Weaken them. Perfect. All right, officers will take the brunt of that. That's fine. We're the sturdiest group. Those are our elite warriors. Yeah, and because we weakened these guys, they only did half damage. Alright, so officers will go ahead and clear them. Those guards out. Go get him, me! Nice. I'll we'll just shoot these guys down. Our buccaneers are in position to do so. so. We'll swap to... Another buccaneer group. There we go. Just so there's no losses. No strain, no losses. Sorted. Excellent. Nice. Ransacked. 1,900. Here we go. 
So, we can appoint a new governor. So we can go French, uh, French, Spanish, Dutch. Oh, no thanks. We're gonna put the Dutch in here. So it is quiet and desolate because we did raid this thing into oblivion, but we can now go ahead and get ourselves promoted here, which is great. Good. Oh my goodness, wait, what? Fuzzy Wuzzy, that's insane. So they said, yeah, sure, come aboard, we'd love to have you work with us, so then said, wait, you know what, never mind, second thought. <laughs> never mind. Really? Jeez. Some pretty bad hiring practices. Well, I'm glad you're going and getting that taken care of. That is crazy. All right, let's go up the uh, list here. So first things first, is there anything here we can sell? We have eight ships. I'll go ahead and sell you, Betsy. Right, we're out of the ones we can sell without dropping our tonnage. Well, luckily, we should be able to sell a decent amount here. Uh, well, we can sell a decent amount of food. Well, actually, no. Sell cannons. Here, take take all the cannons. We only need 20 cannons. Now we can go ahead and sell our food, because we don't need as much food. So they have, they're well-stocked in food, and they're well-stocked in guns. They should be good to go. <laughs> you have to send you to one site to interview that site, sent you home. And the security company refused to communicate with you after that? They just ghosted you? Oh my good gracious. Wow. That's incredibly rude. The Swallow. Is, it is gone. There's no more. We do have to sail... Through the... I can't remember what the sewing guy's name is. Quick status. Fleet. What is it? Uh, the Sailmaker. That was an easy one. Got him, so it's good. Alright, tavern. What we have here? Uh, Nevis, they're actually right around the corner. They're not gonna like us, but we could sell off our luxuries here. Food's, pl food's plentiful here, too. You go to Santiago, though. What do you have? This is an English ship? Yeah, Santiago. I was just saying, we need to go to Santiago. That's, that's where we gotta go. See. Did you get a promotion first, just in case it's affected things? Oh, I didn't. I didn't think about that. We were just talking about it. Alright, let's go check. Did we get a promotion for everything that we've done? My dear Admiral Salto, please come in. As you know, we're a wealthy, uh, perfidious English. I understand you recently installed a Dutch governor in Grand Bahamut. Sir, that's literally you, okay? Alright, I hope you understand that. And you captured an English frigate. Excellent! The king will be pleased. Ah, there it is. In, in recognition of your service to the Dutch crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of Baron. Congratulations! As a result, uh, crew recruiting will be much easier. Okay, cool. The one thing we didn't do yet is the one thing we got improved on. Excellent. Oh my god! I am happy to increase the size of your estate by 2,050 acres. Holy jeez, it's a lot. The governor's beautiful daughter enters the room. She admires her stylish clothes and invites you to this evening's grand ball. Do you accept or be the hazy? Oh, yeah, of course. But of course. All right. We've got a fancy hat. Let's do this thing. All right. This is going to be a tough one. Here we go. All right. Let's get in the rhythm. I need to get some spins in here for sure. Some critical, critical, critical hits. There we go. One spin. There's another spin. Oh, two spins. Remember, they stack. You see the tiny hearts in the top as we uh, get spins in a row. We want to get the, we want to get those hearts to stack. Come on. Oh no. So I was not ready for that direction. Okay. You know, we haven't had to do turn left or turn right before. Uh, or forward. Maybe that's not an option. Oh, we got three! I whiffed that one. Get that timing. There, timing on it. 
All right, we're getting there. We're slowly zooming in towards her. Okay, we got plenty of spins here. That was good. Come on, let's see if we can get a spin on her. Come on, that was pretty good. Give her a quick spin. Ah, we only got a wink. Ah, we only got a wink. Not quite. I believe you have an uncle. Yes. Baron Ramondo's information about it. He's down at the far south. Yep. Cool. Thanks for telling me the name of the... Oh, okay. It's also got copper plating on his ship. That's right. Not the most important information to gain, but uh, we'll still still take it. Thank you very much. Uh, Tavern, how many boys do we have? We actually have too many boys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, lads. We actually have too many boys. We won't need anyone else right now. We need you guys to reset. Okay, the poor Dutch stronghold, but we already knew that. It was a poor English stronghold when we were here, originally. A uh, English smuggler, you say? Oh, straight into the wind. That's not good at all. Oh, move! Oh my god, I cannot believe that missed us. Burn into it. Oh my goodness, perfect. Alright. Within range, fire! Good. Nice. And again, real quick, how's the audio? Is it better? Worse about the same? Wow, it shouldn't be about the same as yesterday, but is it uh, better or worse? Is it too quiet for the game audio or too loud? Go ahead and grape shot the rest here. That should be enough to have them surrender. Don't you shoot my ship overboard. Oh, it's not enough to make them surrender. All right. I'm God. English scum. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Just go for the slash. Go for the chop. Oh my goodness, a bucket to the face. <laughs> oh, didn't stand a chance. Too easy. Too easy. Tit, 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 tit. Oh, poor guy. Alright, bunch of luxuries. This is a smuggler after all. That makes sense. Let's see here. So we want to go and hit up a Spanish... Holy jeez. A Spanish port. Uh, we want to go to Santiago. Ideally. Havana wouldn't be bad. Actually, spice and sugar is pretty good here. It's not as good. Right? Wasn't Santiago better? Yeah, spice is 49. Holy. 49. Let's see here. What's our... Where do we see our cargo again? Status. That's no, right here. Cargo. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of spice. It would be nice to go drop that off. We should go to Santiago. Let's start moving towards Santiago here. We need to go and offload. We'll go to the fortress first. Alright. Ship rights. Go ahead and repair our ship. We can't sell anything, right? No, we can't sell the ships because we need them to haul everything. Well, we can sell us some food. Nothing else is uh, worth us selling. We can sell us some food. We don't need that many months of food. 18 months of food is still too many. 15 tons, 15 tons, 55 tons. Yeah, we still can't do it. Tavern, what you got for me? St. Augustine. Oh my goodness, it is awful. We do not want to go there. The locals are too poor to buy much either. Yeah, that's not good. That's just only farmers. It does make sense. What do we got? We've got a Sloop of War. The Duke of York going to Havana. We might want to go intercept that. Uh, we don't want to go anything with the daughters, and we're fine right now. Well, we can talk to the captain if we want to send him somewhere. I don't think we need to. Oh, an English raider. From Nassau. Oh, so it's literally the Duke of York. We were just informed about you. Well, well, well. Come here, you. Chain shot. We lost a the gun there. Grape shot. Knocked down the crew count. Now we outnumber them more than two to one. Still wants to fight, though. All right. Let's see if he's got the moves. Is he fast or is he slow? What's he got? 
Okay, slash. Ooh, we barely actually got that one. He was decently fast. Yeah, we've got the little uh, daze thing over our head. We can poke him. Poke him again. Poke him again. Poke him again. Oh my goodness. No, he's not that good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nope. Nope. No good. Yeah, just just uh, shake my head over here. No skill at all. We'll go ahead and we'll take everything because we definitely need those guns. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I'll be taking that. Is that a... A pirate killer? Alright, let's go take this one out. It outnumbers us two to one in terms of the boys and has significantly more guns than us. Eight more in total. It's a significant advantage. Oh jeez, that should be pretty hard on us. Let me get a little chain shot here. Oh man, they're thinking the same thing. Load the guns, boys. Load the guns. Okay, we managed to hit them full broadside before they were able to get us to full broadside. But our ship is now currently burning. That is not good. We gotta go. We need some space. All right, we're still within range. Leave the ship. Still got hit once. We almost knocked down its. Oh jeez. I have to turn into this one. Oh my goodness, we got under them all. Full broadside with the chain shot. Become a small target. Please don't sink this ship. I like this ship. Don't do it. Oh no, that's bad. Then we got hit twice. We're within range. Fire. Become a small target. Okay. Jeez. That was incredibly close. <laughs> We are. I am. I'm worried to see how much hull damage we have. It's. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be pretty. Yikes. Here we see the two opposites of the player ship meta. Oh no, kidding. Fast, really, really fast, tiny, elusive ship, and lots of guns. That's exactly right. Adelka, how's the audio? Oh my goodness, I can't catch them. Get over. They don't even have sails, and they're faster than us. What is this? Okay, there we go. We're going three knots, we're going six. We have to slowly up our speed. Seems all right, perfect. Because yeah, you were mentioning it was a little too loud yesterday and I was watching through the VOD and it definitely was. They're slower, thankfully. My goodness. I'll take that, all right, so how, how are we doing? 88% hull damage, wow. Yep, that's pretty bad. Hey, Nassau, I know I stole a bunch of stuff from you guys, but, um... No, we, should, we shouldn't take Nassau. We, sh we shouldn't take Nassau. Don't you hit my ship. Stop hitting my ship. You're gonna sink it. Don't you do it. That does, that does actually do damage. Don't do that. We're not. We're gonna leave Nassau there. It'll be good to have at least one, one actual um, stronghold here of the English. Once we flip flop back over, we can go back to the Grand Bahamas. But I think we're just gonna go south. We need to. We need to start going this way. Go back over to the fortress. Sell off what we can. Get out of here. Some more food for you. Am I selling you ships? Yeah, we can sell the Duke. It's the only one we can sell. Everything else is just carrying our cargo. Oh my goodness. Oh, Tortuga, what's going on here? Luxuries are 24. That's pretty good. Oh. Prices are fluctuating wildly over there. Okay. Repair? Yes. Thank you. I completely forgot. It's all quiet around here, nothing special. Yeah, you keep telling me to go to Santiago. We gotta go to Santiago. Oh my good gracious. <laughs> Repair this ship. That makes us go faster on the overland map too. So it is important to repair the ship whenever we can. Even though we do have a, uh, a sailmaker and a carpenter, so we actually do repair over time, it still is important for us to repair as soon as we can. Oh, we got a pirate hunter after us. I hear him. It's that ship coming south towards us. Yeah, let's 
It's gonna be a bit of a trip to get over to Santiago here. Come on, boys. We're running at uh, eight knots right now. I don't think they can catch us. Let's see if we can take advantage of the wind here. Oh, come on. And a new bed, and we can go swing by here. We might be able to sell some food. It'd be good. You get the impression the best place to flip is probably next to a mission. That makes sense. All right, let's go to merchant. Yeah, food is worth eight here. Luxuries are worth thirty-four here. This is the best we've seen. I will, I'll sell you the luxuries, sure. Can I buy stuff from you for cheap? Is there a good place for us to sell sugar? We'll definitely sell off some of these guns because they're just weighing us down. We don't need this many. If we could buy their sugar and... Actually, that's not even enough to sell one more, <laughs> one more luxuries. Darn. Better enough for us to drop another one of these ships. Seven tons are required to drop the next ship. Close, but not quite. Rakas, what do we have down here? Not that great. Grape shot we already have. Sugar's plentiful, though, so it must mean that we can buy a bunch from there. Ooh, a treasure galleon. Oh, wait, uh, I forgot to talk to you. Uh, Santiago's daughter is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing special here. Where are you going? Oh, you're oh, actually, if we can bring you to the Grand Bahamas, we can improve the quality of the Grand Bahamas here. Yeah, actually, let's, let's escort the, the Dungeon here. We're going to have to go fight that. Uh, we're going backwards from where we wanted to go. But this could be very beneficial, because it'll improve that stronghold to hopefully ensure it stays Dutch. So we keep that here. We don't have to go and redo the uh, the capture process. And you got a couple more knots here. Seven knots, come on. Six knots. Quite get that kind of push. Wind's coming from the wrong direction for us. We like it coming from uh, over our uh, over our port side, not our starboard side. Does the carpenter and such only repair the active ship? Can you swap which ship you are fighting uh, with before each attack until it gets to full health? Yeah, absolutely you can. Absolutely you can. Uh, here's an example. Change flagship. We'll let you then go ahead and by pressing uh, the flag, you can change what your flagship is going to be. So you can switch between them. You can absolutely do that. The English Raider, I can't quite get to. Here we go. The War of Liberty. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, it hit us there. Fine. We'll give me some round shot. A little hard sl uh, slug right there, real quick. Let's get in here for some actual combat. Let's take him down. Take him down. Wouldn't it be smart to drive around to the damaged ships and let your specialist repair them for free? I think they repair any of the ships that you have. Oh my goodness, okay. That's a good dodge. Chop. Rust. Flash. Uh, I think they get. Re I think all of them slowly get repaired. I don't think it's just the active ship that you're playing as. I think it's all ships do. Not much here. Is there a hotkey I can use for that? I'm trying to figure it out. Spanish privateer. Oh, no, you don't. Don't do it. Got to defend this governor. We want to go on. Oh my goodness, my my poor sails. Here, fight me. Board me. I dare you. You'll have the advantage. You have more guys. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be way more damaging. I was going to say, oh, wait. Never mind. No, you don't. But, um... It wasn't really as damaging as I thought it was. Oh, uh oh Alright, so they have an advantage of boys. I have to take him down. We just need to make sure we keep the advantage bar up, so we can't just wildly swing at him. 
totally whiff that. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Get him. Okay. The thrust is faster than uh, the slash or anything else. Whoop. Bonk. Oh, he got me there. Go for the slash. Go for an instant chop. There we go. They don't often recover fast enough. The thrust. The thrust. Okay, we have the advantage. Slash. Our uh, slash started first. That was actually pretty close. We lost a good number of troops on that, though. That's unfortunate. A little plunder, a bunch of food and guns. We keep the ship. Ah, uh, but we gotta, we gotta go. Luckily, it looks like the uh, the pirate hunter ship that's trying to come after us is going the wrong way around. Oh, we almost lost a ship there due to <laughs> sailing into some rocks. Let's go over to the fortress real quick to see if we can uh, offload some stuff. Here, take some. Oh, you've got no money. That's right. Uh, we'll at least repair our ship. Combat. We'll sell what we can. We have too much. We have too many goods. I refuse to give them up. Gibraltar, what you got? Gibraltar is Gibraltar's doing okay. Modest price for luxuries, but it's it's not actually that amazing. Baron Romando, where is he? He's down here. We do need to go hit up Baron Romando. That's fine. Actually, we do need more guys. We need some more guys for a moment. We're all repaired up. Did we repair up? Yeah, okay. We're all repaired up. Good to go. We got a couple extra guys to help us out. Since we're still carrying so many extra ships. Are we still going the right way? Yeah, we still are. Okay, good. We just gotta go straight north now. We'll finish escorting the brand new governor. Or, oh my goodness, it's not even a stronghold. It got knocked down. It used to be a poor Dutch stronghold. Now it's a poor Dutch outpost. Hey, okay, so we're gonna reef the sails here so we don't just run straight in. Get in there. What are you now? Prosperous Dutch outpost. Okay, I can live with that. But you guys need to get some soldiers over here, <laughs> or else you're gonna get taken over. That's no good. All right, here we go. Luxuries are actually worth selling here. Sugar, we're actually gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the sugar from here. Cannons are okay. They need cannons. This is great. We like that. Uh, food is worth five. We could buy it, but I think we're gonna skip. We're still trying to offload a ship or two. We can't. Oh my goodness, we're off by six. Close, not quite. Oh my goodness, luxuries. 37 down here. We expect it, though. Ooh. The price on our head is 3k right now. The English do not like us. To be expected. Talk to the governor. Yes, we captured a brig. We captured a lot of English ships. Oh my goodness, we are now a count. Excellent. Look at the huge, the uh, the huge necklace we got. Straight. Is Gibraltar in the Caribbean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Ship repairs are gonna be done at cost in Dutch ports. That's huge. Sounds like as low as it'll go. Yeah, that's huge. Also an extra 200 acres. Not a huge bonus there. That's good. Hello. Ah, she is looking for us to uh, to wild her with a uh, with a, a gift. Do we want to? Uh, the the problem is, I don't know what the probability of unless we stay here in the Grand Bahamas. I don't know what the probability of this place staying Dutch is. So this might actually be a very bad investment. So I think we're gonna have to skip. Because if we aren't here and Point Port Royal or um, Nassau decide to come over here because they're both strongholds and take this back and we're not around to defend it, because it's no longer a stronghold. It's just an outpost, or it's just a uh, yeah, it's just an outpost. We're out of luck, so we're gonna we're gonna have to skip. Unfortunately, oh. I don't happen to have one. I don't know where to find one. No, got one in my back pocket. It's it's not a good bet for us right now. Being just an outpost, this could be taken over too easily. So now if we look at repairs. Oh my goodness, no, you're right. Repairs are free. Mm. 
But it also means now that uh, we don't have to actually hit repair to get the full value of the ship. That's nice. But yeah, all repairs are free. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Nice. That is huge. Alright, we have to go to a Spanish port. We gotta go to Havana right now. Uh, we also need to go to Florida Keys over here, too. Like, we, we need to... As much as I wanted to go to Santiago, and that was our goal, we need to go over here as quick as we can. Pirates attacked the city of Nassau. Mountains of gold have been plundered. Oh, really? What is this? From Havana. Bound for Europe. Alright, we won't attack you. We don't want to piss off the, uh, the Spanish yet. We want to go and uh, buy and sell and get ourselves some rankings so that we can get more stuff while we're at port. Good old lookout point. All right, Florida Keys. What is this? A trading post. Yeah, this at least has some military might to it. Uh, you can see here it just has two things of prosperity and zero cannonballs of defense. You know, Havana's got three. We're bound for Havana. All right. We don't need to do any repairs. Triple hammocks. All right. Uh, merchant, what do you got? Oh my goodness, luxuries, 30. I'll take it. Put those on. Uh, cannons, we definitely just want to offload cannons because they usually aren't a big sell for us. And we'll drop off as much food as we can here. We don't need this much food. There we go, 22 months of uh, rations left. I'm tempted to buy this sugar, actually. Let's go ahead and let's uh, offload a ship or two first. Okay. Offloaded two ships. Uh, we can hold another 54 tons. Let's take all the sugar. We'll sell it off later. We'll sell off this food. Okay, perfect. Nice. Right to the tavern. Yes. Ah, Santiago. Great news. Uh, okay, so the, the <laughs> spice, the prices for spices have gone up. Okay, uh, and sugar's at twenty. We have to go to Santiago. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go there. The goods that we're carrying, we're gonna sell so much. Havana will take sugar for seventeen, but wasn't that higher at Santiago? Let's go ahead and do governor first. That's war with the English. Captured an English sloop of war. We did indeed. We are now an admiral. Give me that hat. Yes. All right, upgrades in our cheaper in French ports. We have got... Oh my goodness. 1350 acres on the outskirts of town in the Florida Keys. Very nice. And their attractive daughter is here to give us a... Uh, an invitation to the ball. Sir. Maybe she can give us some info about something useful here. Let's see if we can get some get better at doing these spins. Wow, already, already a fail there. Get some good spin moves going. Come on now. There we go. There's some spins. Oh, that was close. All right, spin. Nope. Nope. Come on, we can do it. We can get some more spins in here. Oh my goodness, I believe. There we go. Oh, come on. We were crushing it earlier. Just don't have the rhythm right now. Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, we're not going to get a twirl from her. We're only going to get a wink. I can feel it. Unless we can get some big spins in here last second. No. <laughs> nope, no good. We're just going just gonna to get a wink from her. There's that wink. Take what we can. So you notice the only visible difference between plain attractive and beautiful is how open their blouse is. Uh, that and also their face. They have different faces. Um, but yeah, the, the easiest way to instantly identify is um, how revealing their clothing is, yes. Uh, but their, their faces are different. Uh, you have a game recommendation for you? Um, Solium 
Infernium? I don't know this one. How's it going, yep? Oh, who's this? Mr. T. Shawshank. He's in Nassau. 4,000 gold reward, you say? It's gonna be tough for us to get into Nassau. We're kind of, um... Kind of at war with him. But, you know what? That's fine. Good to know about. Alright, let's get down to Havana. And then we'll get over to Santiago. The game is like Sid Meier's Civilization, but in hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not the biggest fan of Civilization. They're good games, but I, I tend to lose interest about like halfway through a run. Havana, wealthy Spanish capital. Look at this place. An absolute fort is over here, too. Let's talk to the governor first, as you guys were saying. We should probably do that first. Please come in. We have war with the English and the Dutch. There we go, Colonel. All right, merchants will trade us more in ports. Perfect, good. We have 250 acres in the outskirts of town. Perfect. And we can go to the ball. But yeah, so you can see there's a difference. She's got a different face. Skin tone has to do with the um, the culture you're with, but the uh, the face is actually different. It's like the same otherwise. Same song. At least I think it is. Uh, I think that's how the player models work, or the character models work. I could be wrong though. We we only see the daughters once every now and then. We don't see them all the time. some spin moves in. Come on. There we go. That was too early on my click there. There we go. Still too early. Not too late, I think. Right. Focus. There we go. Good spins. Very good. Oh, we're keeping it up. We're at three. Three, three tiny hearts. Ah, oh, whipped it. That quick change got me. There we go. We got four in a row at the end. Nice. Pretty sure the lady models don't have legs. I uh, mean, probably don't, actually. <laughs> They probably never went ahead and did that, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately we only got a wink. Uh, our, ooh! Hang on a second, Ben Romano is moving towards Santiago? Well, that's actually great. That's great to know. Oh, I want the merchant. Let's click. Merchant. Merchant, what will you buy from me? Oh my goodness, the spices. The sugar, holy! Take all my sugar. That's a massive profit we just made off of selling that sugar. We bought it for six uh, spices. We can't really sell it here. It's got no more inventory for it. Or no more money for it. It's good. Hmm. It's a pretty obvious shortcut, shortcut to take since uh, it's all under their dress. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Do the barbies have uh, legs? Good question. Let's find out. Let's find out. We'll sell you, we'll sell you. Perfect, alright, our fleet's starting to get thinned out again. Oh, uh, no, no they don't. Wait, no, hold on. There's like a shadow or something there, it looks like shoes. Got a little shadow right there. They might have feet, but not legs. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe. A little distracted there. A little tough to keep your eye on the ball. Talks. The the grand ball, that is. Uh, Port Royal. Oh yeah, there's not much here for us. Mm, fortune. Yeah, we're not going into the Spanish quite yet, though. What's our true count now? We're fine. Sorry, guys. I don't need anyone else. Uh, we'll grab more guys if we're going to go do some more flipping. Oh my goodness, there's 16,200 guys here. That's crazy. The population's insane. Alright. We get to, gotta get to Santiago now. Our troops... Oh, jeez. The crew's starting to get pretty up, upset with us. We're going to have to divide the plunder soon. 
Which stinks, because we've got 153,000 on us right now. But yeah, we're going to need to... we got to move over to Santiago here. There we go. Hey, how's it going, DW Doctors? Welcome back. Makes you realize that before Conan Exiles, games with... Uh, games did have realistic boob physics, relatively. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'd say realistic in this game, but... Um, and it's not really physics. It's more just uh, scripted stretching of models. I wouldn't necessarily call it... Uh, Business. But it, it, they did think about it. They did think about having a... Wait, that's an invasion force. Where's that going to? Where was that going to? Is that Augustine? St. Augustine? Is that what they said? Where? Florida Keys. French colony. They're going here. Or English colony, sorry. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Just want to make sure they're not going after the Grand Bahamas. That's all. Actually, if we go to Besting real quick... Do you want to go and replace the mayor? Yes, okay. So let's go back to the Grand Bahamas here. Get that, uh, get that guy to swap him out. Um, okay, we can go ahead and buy sugar again. Offload some food. Hold on to our spices and the like. It's good. Uh, shipwright repair. We took some damage from the hurricane we went through. Or like never going down there. Uh, it's a frigate. Yeah, this is one that's currently on its way over to go and uh, bust up the English. We're not going to interfere. He's Baron Romano is in Santiago. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the Grand Bahamas and then we're gonna go to Santiago. Let's go ahead and let's try and get this to get fixed up a little. Just imagine that most people who developed games were adults when they came when they made games, so even when games first came out. True, yeah. If you're looking for boo physics. Uh, there are some gems here and there on Steam under the adult category. Well, yeah, it's if you're specifically looking for stuff like that. But we're we're just kind of like marveling. It's like this is this is a relative this, this is relatively a kids game, right? <laughs> There's no blood or anything in here. We're gonna have to go hit these uh, privateers to stop them from taking the uh, the governor. This is like relative. Like this is a kids game, right? Like you know what we need to make sure we add. It, it's the and it's only on. Wait, is it only on the um, classified as beautiful governor's daughters? Yeah, we can go ahead and cross swords. Is it only on them or is it also the attractive ones? I know the plain ones. They don't because they're like completely covered. I don't see why they would animate that. Oh, look at that guy's cutlass. The thing is gnarly. Go for the chop. Go for the slash. Go for the thrust. Beyond the offensive slash. We don't give him a moment. Uh, what game did your audience end up voting to play lately? This game! This one right here, yep. The votes were in three weeks ago, and I was too distracted still playing Conan Exiles. <laughs> but this game won the vote like three weeks ago, and so yesterday was the first day of us playing it. So, we're playing through this game now. We'll be back to State of Decay 2 tomorrow, though. For our Wednesday, Thursday time slot. But yeah, th this game. I thought you just decided, nah, we can wait three weeks. I mean, I thought, well, the main reason was I, I did postpone it a week because I was out of town, but then I was sick, and so I was like, we should let the vote finish while I'm sick anyway. Look over there. Conan's too boring for you? I understand. Uh, the community here is pretty split. It's about half and half. Half the community here uh, likes Conan Exiles quite a lot. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's a pretty relaxing kind of fun game to poke around in, and the other other half not so much. It's just not the cup of tea, more grand strategy and the like. The Prosperous Village, which kind of makes sense, you know, because the I started streaming almost exclusively like grand strategy games and um, like stra like grand strategy games and RPGs and the like, not the uh, the survival crafting games. Those are those came in later on. It was kind of a split. 
So I want to jump out of Conan every now and then just so we can get back to playing our other games. But Conan will come back. It is going to be a reoccurring game, that's for sure. That's for sure. It's going to be a reoccurring game. But we've got these games to play, too. Uh, I think we're just going to take all this sugar, too. While we're here, we're just gonna we're just gonna take the take the sugar. All right, six months I think is a good number for us to get down to. We can drop our guns down to twenty. We'll hold on to the rest though. Look at that. Uh, you're thinking of buying Bonadora, Firelit Farewell, which is on special and standalone. I have no idea what kind of game that. What kind of game is that? Wait, Green, are you serious? Are they? I mean, actually, I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. It's a... It's a game... If, if a game can be modded... If a game can be modded... There's, we all know what the first thing being modded is, don't we? A lot of content model games seem to be good backup games, yeah. Well, because they have... Yeah, constant new content is always great. It's a Metrovania action adventure. Okay, this has never been really my cup of tea, but cool. Oh my goodness, this this Saint Antoine is taking forever to get over there. We went from here to here as it came from here to there. Jeez, it's going slow. Pretty funny. All right, so he's holed up in Santiago. Okay, so we're off to Santiago. This place really needs some troops, though. I don't know how we help move troops over here. Talk to the governor. Can we get promoted again? Nope. I have no idea where I could find a necklace like that. I'm so sorry. I'll have to go and continue to look harder. Again, I, I don't want to spend time to commit on anything there. If uh, Go ahead and grab this as a smuggler. They're going to have some nice jewels on them. I don't want to commit to uh, giving her those kind of things if she's just gonna get conquered by the English while we're not around. They end up taking back uh, Grand Bahama. Okay. Cruise down enough that we should be okay to get in here. Nice. Oh yeah, a bunch of luxuries. We'd like to see it. Alright. The Santiago. No more getting distracted. Oh man, our crew is so grumpy. <laughs> oh my goodness, that ship! <laughs> oh my goodness. Invasion force? Oh yeah, that's fine. We can let that happen. We're not gonna bug them. Let them do what they want to do. They're fighting the English. They're not fighting the Dutch. It's okay. They're gonna weaken the English's position over here, which is good because... Um, sea King just got absolutely blasted. Let's actually sell it. Food... We're selling anything here. Anything good? Botabello. No good information there. Actually, Iron Scantlings. Do we have Iron Scantlings? Man, you keep telling me about the same shit. Okay, he hasn't moved anywhere. Okay. Hey, hold on. Do we have Iron Scantlings on this thing? I feel like we don't. No, we do. We do. What are we missing? Are we missing anything on here? No, I think we have all the upgrades on the uh, on this Royal Sloop. On the Flames of Greed. Yeah, we got seven. I think we have all the upgrades. Uh, Nassau was turned into a poor English port. Oof. Something happened when I wasn't looking. I will say, though, there aren't enough games that do this where... Oh, it's pirate attacks that have been doing it. Okay. So this is one of the things, is this game, again, was released back in 2004, and this version of it was released in 2005 with some patches, apparently. But the... Oh, let's go grab the smuggler for sure. But the thing is that, like, the in-game economy in here constantly changes, and it's something that I feel like not a lot of games do well anymore. Right? Am I, am I crazy on that? Fight to go and get some wind here. Am I crazy on that one? Because it, it definitely feels like a lot of games these days just don't do in-game, active, like, dynamic economies. 
This one is like, you get in the way of like a grain transport, they start to starve, right? So like if the grain transport doesn't make it somewhere, then prices for food and availability of food goes, uh, well prices go up and availability goes down. So there's less you can buy there from that location. Let's just ram them. We've got enough boys. We've got 183 crew members. We can just get them. We don't need to be coy. We can just go ahead and board. Don't you shoot me. There we go. Those spices. I was expecting luxuries. Alright, nice. Uh, you're only missing bronze cans. Oh, bronze cans. That's what I'm missing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if we go east to the... It's either the French or the Dutch ports over near St. Kitts that we can go ahead and get the the bronze cannons. Which would be good, because that's accuracy. That's actually quite important. We think we need that. Hydrate, you've got it, yep. You got it. <laughs> that seems like that'd be pretty easy to identify which uh, steam profile is yours there, yep. Uh, one of the games you recommended in the past is on stale, sale for Steam for 90% off right now. Uh, Mag Runner. It's a puzzle horror. Ah, those, yeah, those really aren't my cup of tea. But I do still appreciate people going and throwing just general recommendations into the Discord. Because there are probably others that will find that as a fun thing to play, right? It's not just for me. It's also for others. Spanish Raider. Uh, where are you going? From Santiago. Oh, to the town that just got taken over by French. <laughs> They're going up here. The French just took this and the Spanish are immediately going for it. Spanish are like, quickly! They've weakened him, that's our chance. But yeah, see, like, the economy keeps changing. I, I absolutely love that. I think it's so good. I'd like to see that in more of these types of, like, hip style games or uh, mercenary company style games. You know, ones where. Like, Banner Lord kind of stuff, right? I'd like to see that in more of them. And we get... Talk to the governor first. Would you give me a promotion, please? Yes! We are an admiral. We have a fancy hat. Perfect. Upgrades are cheaper. Ah, yeah, we'll take the invitation. Here we go. You're a little anxious. You'll be getting a new phone soon. You've been using the same one for five years now. Oh my goodness. I, I'll have to read the rest of that comment literally after this entire thing because it's so... In <laughs> it requires so much uh, attention to detail of where our hands are going. And then trying to get the timing down is really tough. Come on. Nope. Oh, a little too early. There we go. Yeah, there's that delay I needed. Good. Okay, that was really good. Ah, too slow. Too slow on that one. Okay, spin. Alright, we're crushing it. Even though we're not getting the, the massive back-to-back -back spins. Trying to get these spins in again. Come on. Ah, no, come on. Too slow. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're crushing it. Oh, it's failed at the last pit there. One. Forward. Turn. Oh, I'll whip that one. It was too late. There we go. Oh my goodness, we absolutely crushed it. We're going to get a spin at the end. Alright, we're not get, just getting a wink this time. I'm going to give her a good old spin. There we go. Crushed it. Almost, I, I almost forgot. I know, you were captivated by my dancing skills. A recent visitor told Wondrous Tales of the Lost Fable City. Ooh! Was the Incas? Okay. I was able to uh, make some notes. Oh my goodness, this is our first map. Huge. The vicinity of Villa Hermosa. That's actually like all the information we need. Where is Villa Hermosa? 
We might be able to actually just go off of that. Man, we haven't had anything for... That's the first time we've gotten anything for a lost city. Prepare all these guys to make sure they don't tend to fall apart on us here. Uh, food, gold, spices, 44. Oh my gracious, take it all. I can't, I can't sell enough. Uh, there's nothing here I actually want to buy. It's too expensive here. We could take goods for six. Still, though. Upgrade all ships? I don't see a reason why we would do that. Uh, the upgrades don't get conferred to the uh, cost that we can sell them at later. Upgrades free here? Is this Spanish? No, the upgrades aren't free. They have to be 10 out of 10 on... Uh, okay, chat. We right because dancing happens, right? Ends what dancing does. Because I, what? Because I can't watch chat? You. Let's do it. Alright, close it. Um, so the phone we have right now is five years old. The only thing you don't like is having to go through all of the settings again, as well as setting up from uh, Nova Launcher. Oh my goodness, yeah, no, yep. Getting a brand new phone sucks. I got a new phone, I think it was like two years ago now. And it was an absolute pain. Uh, I was transferring files over, and then it was transferring over uh, like previous texts because I just wanted to make sure I had all. Like, I didn't want to go and comb through what texts I wanted to transfer from the old phone to the new one. And it got like halfway through it, and it said it was still processing, but the progress bar stopped, and the number of files being moved over stopped. And I was stuck there at the store for like. It was five hours. <laughs> I'm stuck there like five hours. That was awful. Link your phone to Google? What? And rely on cloud service? And ensure it doesn't get hacked at some point, Green? I don't know what you're talking about. Some people do that. Um, I don't. What do we have down here? Nothing too special. No upgrades that we need, and nothing that's wildly out of the blue with the costs. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've been promoted to Admiral. Well, shucks. Thank you so much for noticing. Oh my goodness, he ran all the way down here. Caracas. Monster. I'll have to go and track him down. Who would hack you? No, not me. Hacking Google. No, no, no one, no one hacked me. But um, think about it. there, there have been uh, hacks into Google a number of times, and leaks of things that have been on the on the crowd a good number of times. My stuff isn't important or interesting enough for anyone to really care about. But I still don't like the idea that that is something that ends up being a possibility compared to just having it on a hard physical, like just only having it on yours. I just don't like the idea that someone else could do it. Right. That's all. I'm not worried. I don't have any... Like, And the thing is, like, if I lose all the information on my phone, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's actually it's actually not that big of a deal. Uh, it'll be a very obnoxious, but it's not going to be life-ending in any way. Alright, so let's head over to uh, Krakow, and we'll go from there and try and see if we can get over to him. Yeah, yeah, stuff happens. But that's the thing, is, like, I'm just mitigating risk, right? Just like, uh, yeah, stuff happens like car crashes. So just like, just like, don't drive after you're completely plastered drunk. I don't see a reason to use, um, use my phone on, uh, on public Wi-Fi or to have my stuff hooked up to the cloud. It just reduces the chance of issues, right? Speaking of hacking, in your youth, when the internet was young, you found an illegally... Uh, an illegal identity generator that provided social security numbers, phones, phone numbers, names, addresses. Jeez. Hopefully you didn't play around with that too much there, because that uh, could get you in trouble. Don't do that. You only use stolen Wi-Fis? <laughs> right, so we can go ahead and sell the speedy return. Can't sell the childhood yet. Uh, no, this here is good pricing. I mean, we could sell that if we want. Oh my, dude, the sugar's worth nothing. Actually, we're gonna buy this. We're gonna get our hold nice and full of sugar, because it's worth nothing. It's huge. That's insane. Right, tavern. Might as well make the money if we're going somewhere. Grand Granada? We haven't been to... Wait, can you even get to Grand Granada? 
How do you get to Grand Granada? Can you go up the river? I don't even know how you do that. I, don't, I, don't, I feel like there isn't a way to do that. Walk? You might have to walk. I don't even know how that works. Where is he? Traveling from to... Okay, so he should be sitting over there for a bit. Let's we'll see if we can track him down. We need to drop our crew numbers. Our crew numbers are still too high. Oh, we really need to drop the number of ships we've got with us right now. Um... Ah, uh, you stream Wi-Fi from yourself. Oh my goodness, he's right here! <laughs> Hello, sir! Literally just speeding right past us. We got a full complement of guns, a full complement of crew. Let's do this thing. Baron Romando, your time is nigh. Let's just go ahead and do all of those real quick here. Get some return fire. Knock out a couple of guns. That's not good. Some holes in our ship uh, sails now. Good grape shot in there. That was really good. Okay. Again. All right, we can go in for combat now. We now have operable crew complements. Oh, he's trying to sink us. That's not good. We need, to, we need to get combat in here before he actually manages to sink us. Alright, you. Come here. I'm God. We have more troops. Flash. Go for the slash. Thrust. Thrust again. We'll go for the chop. Oh, big dodges. He's thrust for everything. Go. This was the Baron Ramondo, right? I think that was the Baron. Bunch of food, bunch of cannons. Take everything. Wait. No. It said evil, didn't it? Did I miss who that was? Did I did I did I not understand who that was that we just attacked? There's the Abbot, so go ahead and sell off whatever food we can. Wait a second. Oh, I saw one gold. I thought we might be able to go and get some sugar from him. Alright. Get whatever wind we can. Our sails are kind of knackered, though. I don't really want to attack the too much of the Spanish right now. We're in a pretty Spanish-heavy territory here. I'd like to be able to still land at their port. Where's Krakow? We... We're almost there. There's a pirate here, uh, privateer here. We're gonna ignore it. We're going over to Gibraltar, I think they said. It's fine. Okay. A more food drop off. Alright, sales are slowly getting fixed up here. Ah, oh, my goodness, nice. Immigrants made to crack up. Excellent. It's gonna be even more prosperous. One terabyte of mobile data monthly? Holy jeez. <laughs> Good gracious, G Green. That's a, that is a lot of data. Yeah, this prosperous capital actually needs more military might. There's not a lot of military might here. They've only got one one uh, angle fork. They don't have it tripled or quadrupled. Let's talk to the governor first. We have war. I've done well. No, it didn't look like there were any physics that I saw. Paid attention this time. Normally don't. All right, still can't find it. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Alright, tavern. What you got for me? Saint Kitts. What's the info here? Spice is pretty good. Ah! Bronze Cannon. Saint Kitts. Alright, Saint Kitts is where we need to go. Perfect. You have over two terabytes? Oh my goodness, jeez. That is a lot of... That's a lot of data. Uh, that ship's right there. That's fine. Right, go back to ship. Okay, Romando is still in Caracas. Excellent. We'd like to see. 
we can sell spices here for a, a good price. Luxury's not so much, but spices, that's a good price. We'll sell it for spices. We'll actually even start selling the sugar, because we got it for such a cheap price. Uh, let's hold off real quick and drop our guns, because guns are always never worth a lot. Drop off the rest of the sugar that we can. We can find goods for a decent price here. We'll hold off on it. We don't really need to. Alright, <laughs> the terrible. Perfect. The child, we need to drop off five more things we can drop off the childhood. Alright. I'm hoping we can get a little bit further here before our crew starts to mutiny. I just don't know how much longer we're going to be able to go. Oh, I totally forgot to repair. Whoops. Honestly, if the interwebs... If you use the interwebs a lot, you probably use all that data. That would make sense. Yeah, if you're constantly connected. Just a lot. Yeah, we're going to have to pay. I should have gotten that repaired in a place that we didn't have to pay for it. Ah, well. Who goes? Yeah, it's not worth selling anything here. Tavern, any good news? Panama! Spices, 33. That's actually pretty good to know. Not near Panama, though. On the other side. Panama's over here. Espana. He hasn't moved. Good. We're closing in on him. We're closing in on him. He cannot hide forever. Ben Romando, you evil numpty. Oh, there he is. I see him. Right, right side. Right side of the screen there. We're gonna go jump in here really quick. This stronghold, see what we can sell. Oh, actually, wait, before we sell stuff, Governor. Um, yeah. We're helping, we're helping out. Give me a... Oh, yeah, that's right. We did capture a black galleon. Yeah, sorry. Your plain daughter? For sure. We'll see if she's got some good info for us. Because she might have more info on the... If we do well enough, we might get more info on that uh, lost city. Which would be valuable for us to learn. Oh my goodness, that's... This is really fast. Oh my... Jeez! Oh my goodness, it's just so fast! Why is this so fast? Uh... I'm doing pretty good so far. But look how fast her hand gestures are. This is insane! Oh my good gracious, ma'am. Ma'am, please. We still have, still have the tempo. <laughs> it's a little quick. You got to spin in there? It's good. Oh, no. I botched it. It was too slow. Oh, back to the left. Back to the right. Oh. Turn. Turn again. They keep turning. Oh my good gracious, this is insane. It's so fast. <laughs> Come on. Please, just slow this down a little bit. Holy moly. So, to you. Turn. Turn. We're doing okay. Oh no, stumbles. Okay, maybe we recovered with that spin there. Oh my good gracious. Yeah, we did not pass that test. <laughs> the tempo was so fast. I was not ready for it. Oh my good gracious. Yeah, she's definitely making us work for it. I was not ready for that. Although, she's got some information. Yeah, okay. So Jake, Jake Farthing's worth. Okay. It's fine. He's over in Barbados. That's some money we can go grab, but uh, oh my good gracious. Jeez. Oh my goodness, my, my legs are so tired, I was so tense during that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez, that sugar price is crazy, I'm gonna buy all that sugar. Food price is actually kinda nuts too. The stock up. We'll sell off another location. The Spanish don't mess around when it comes to dancing, apparently. Yeah, no kidding. They're like, oh, you wish to dance with my daughter, do you? Well, let's put you through your paces and see if you are man enough to do it. I'm like, listen, I'm on a ship being, you know, swashbuckling and brave and stuff. I don't have time to practice this much. Holy. All right. To the Baron Romando. Baron. Attack back and forth. Oh, 
The Dutch Raider is going after a, a grain shipment. There he is. Huey right there. Ben Raimondo evil. There we go. We're paying yourself, Ben Raimondo. Oh, we don't have as much crew as I was hoping. We're on the other ships. Little broadside of chain shots. Oh my goodness, full hit. It was perfect. All back up. And I'm so glad we're playing as an agile ship. Although, I do like the idea of playing with one of these big galleons where you can have like 350 crew. And we just take over city after city after city. Which would be pretty cool too. Straight into combat. Alright, Romando. Let's see what you got. I should have done more grape shot than um, chain shot, just so I can make sure we have more advantage here. We've got less pirates than he has uh, buccaneers, but we got him. <laughs> this guy over here just caught him free ball. Poor guy. Oh my goodness, it's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go. We just gotta go find the captain's head. I don't know where this is near, though. No idea where this is near. That's unfortunate. I'll have to go get him one more time, I think. Alright, we'll take everything. Go land into Caracas. Sell this back to the good old Spanish. If they be so kind, just to buy this back, thank you very much. Governor. You would like me to escort someone in a royal sloop to Martinique. I don't really want to go to Martinique, to be honest. Offer peace to the French. Uh, I don't think I can do it, I'm sorry. We're only going to go over to uh, Margarita and then turn around. Well, I mean, I guess we did need to go to St. Kitts if we want to get the brass cannons, right? Oh, perfect. You've got the info I need. Where is this person? He's moved over. Not. Oh, he's literally just respawned right next to us. Huge. Huge knowledge. Sugar here in, in Caracas is for 12 per ton. It's not that much, actually. Actually, it's a lot more than what we get here. Can buy this here and sell it there for a tidy profit. We don't have any more space. Oh yeah, I've got cannons. Get rid of these cannons. Twenty. Give me some more sugar. Luxuries for thirteen. I think we're gonna hold on to those. Right, we'll repair. We've got full cargo. We can't do anything, so we will repair everything. That's uh, heavily damaged because I don't want it to break while we're running along. The other ones are minor damage, but. The thing is, I'm still when, when we get more and more guys following us, especially when we have this much loot in the ship, I just want to make sure that it doesn't end up hitting a rock just from AI pathing, and it just blows up. All right? That is a very bad day. All right, let's get out of here. Good luck over there with that peace treaty. Yeah, see all this debris here. We have to be very careful to make sure our stuff doesn't hit it. Come here, Baron Romano. Don't you run from me. Oh, actually, in this case, I might as well hit up a cracker real quick and just drop off the uh, all the sugar we just picked up. We've got a lot of stuff we can do. We need to go and start tracking down some of these missions. Merchants. Oh yeah, that's sugar. That's a tidy profit right there. That was a very tidy profit. Uh, luxuries are actually sold for more than they were elsewhere, so it's good. Uh, we still have a lot of food, but this at least helps dwindle how much we've got with us. Let's go ahead and sell this off. Oh my goodness, this war galleon. Gee, let's look at the stats in this war galleon really quick. Yeah, this is a 300. Uh, if we go to war galleon. Yeah, so 300 troops, 32 guns, 90 cargo, slow, wide, large. It's a, it's a big, slow boy, but it would be kind of fun to play around with this. Especially since you just get a free one from Baron Romando with all the upgrades in it. <laughs> He's so kind. He upgrades it all for us every time. 
What a man. Okay. Governor? Can I get a promotion, please? Oh, no, you were only worth the English. Okay, nothing then. There's your daughter. I am sorry, I've got nothing for you right now. Goodbye. Alright. Baron? Baron out here? Now, oh, there he is. Hearts attacked. Oh, Portobello, okay. Nice. Messing with some of the Spanish territories here. Oh my goodness, they're so fast. Baron's so fast. Get over here. There he is. He's turning back around. All right, let's do this thing. This will be the last bit of info we need. None of this is a payroll ship. Well, we shouldn't be messing with the Spanish, but it is a payroll ship. If this gets wherever it's going, it's going to increase the strength of that territory. That stronghold gets a big boost. And with a good old grape shot. I'll get into boarding him. Money's always nice, it's true. Money is always nice. How's it going for Bacchus? How are you doing today? Alright, let's do this thing. Quick slash. Get the thrust. Now we go for the slash. Jump. Slash. Thrust. Ah, he blocked me there. Right, go for a jump. And a gold slash. Retaliate. Nice. Hooray! Bunch of money. Bunch of guns. We'll keep the ship. Alright. Now, the problem is, I don't know, is that Ramondo up there? It's another payroll ship up there. <laughs> I mean, it's not the Baron Ramondo. Not who we're going for. But, uh... Some nice cash up here. Oh, we still need to hit the English, though. Come on, can we get him? Barely catch. Alright. Give him some chain shot here. Now the range. Getting closer first. They're turning to fight, which is great. Perfect. Got him. Can you affiliate yourself with one of the, uh, with a particular faction? Kind of, but not also also not really. Yes, but you can also kind of play all sides if you wish. Ooh, that was quite painful. Uh, we've been mostly working with the Dutch as our like big port to call. We've actually been working with the Spanish a lot recently because we swapped over today to focusing on fighting the English. But uh, these payroll ships are just too... They're, they're too juicy of a target. They're too juicy. There's a whole chunk of change. And these really strong ships that we can sell for, like, you know, thousands at Dutch ports. Alright, we're gonna go find Ramondo. Supporting a new governor, and that's fine, we'll let him do that. Wind in our sail. It's a green transport, or what are you? Yeah, green transport. Let them be. Get into New London here. See sell what we sell what we can and see if we can figure out where Baron Ramondo went. I think I went past him. I think he went down into like down into that um, like big old bay. Would be my guess. Get ourselves up. Well, that's merchants. Go ahead and buy your sugar, we'll buy your spices. Uh, sell your can, sell cannons, yeah. Twenty. I can. So much food do we have? Jeez. More spices. We even buy the goods. It's actually worth taking. Maybe even luxuries if we really want to. Can't sell those yet. All right, tavern. Okay. Number de Dios. Ah. Ron's cannons over there, so that's another option. Trade galleon. Yeah, I'm assuming he went down here somewhere. Yeah, where is he? The club is going to uh, Puerto Bello. Ah, he's over here. Okay, so we, we are going the right way. Perfect. That's great news. Cover it in 
Oh, you're on your own, buddy. I am not going that way. It's definitely the wrong direction, sir. You gotta go over here. There should be a mechanic. Um, actually, drop into every day like holding here. There should be a mechanic, like a uh, patron series, where you can buy more expensive um, a product becomes. Oh, the more you buy, the more expensive a product becomes. Kind of. It, it doesn't quite work in that regard. It just works on uh, the quote-unquote prosperity of the territory. Not what you buy and sell to places. But you can buy to sell in places and flood the market in one area, and it's fine. But the moment they get hit by pirates and it like reduces their prosperity, then you can no longer do that there as easily because they sell for significantly worse. So it, it doesn't have that mechanic involved, but it has a different one in. This is sugar, so we already make a profit from selling these spices and the sugar, actually. And the goods, we can actually sell these too, it's also profitable. Actually, all of this is a profitable chain exchange here. We'll drop off a bunch of food, we got too much food. Perfect, that worked out really well. Just empty our, our hole, really. Oh my goodness! Bombs. Damn it. Excellent, done. Fully upgraded. Sell you, sell you. We still have a bit too much tonnage. What's the tonnage of our food? Yeah, of course. That's okay. We'll get that sorted down the line. Talks. We got over here. Nothing. Any cotton sales now. We don't need more upgrades. That has very poor selling. Armando's got the quick thrust. Okay, that's good to know. So I'll have to go for slashes. And he is still over there. Governor? He's going to be pretty pissed at us, I'm sure. Yeah, you captured the Spanish payroll carrier. You captured the Spanish payroll Yeah, we kind of hit two payroll carriers. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and convince his daughter to tell us about some uh, some good information for some lost tribes or some ruined cities. Oh, this is way better. You know, this, this speed is much more my speed. I can I can keep up with this. Though, because of it. The tough part is then getting the uh, the timing for the the spins in, getting the spin moves in there. I'm not getting the spin moves in at all. There we go. Nope. That's going very poorly. I'm succeeding on all of them, but I'm not actually hitting any spin moves. No critical hits. There we go. I am pretty good once we hit this combo. We do that four times. Okay. Alright, we kind of really recovered there at the last minute. That was pretty good. I don't think we're going to get a spin from her, just a wink. But that was good. Yeah, just, just a wink. Info, what you got? Another person from blackmail we can go get, okay. Yeah, low priority. We got a lot of these guys up here that are, <laughs> that are evading taxes. Or, or one, uh, one thing or another. Alright. Devil's Cape. We need to keep an eye on names of places that we're going to now. Treasure map, we need to go over to... Oh my goodness, we have not been over Margarita. Anytime soon, that's a problem. We need to go figure out where this is. We gotta go find Captain's Head. The Lost City is over here near Villa Hermosa, which I don't know where Villa Hermosa is, actually. Uh, after that, we have literally just, um, like, these guys here. There's just five different locations for us to go and get a bounty in the Baron. I should be dropping by these missionaries and dropping off food. Alright, Baron, where are you at? Wealthy capital. Where, where's the Baron gone? Right? What is it? We need to sell 72 tons of food? Wow, it's worth seven? It's actually worth it. Good price. Uh, four. Yeah, I think we can 
and stick to having 60 tons total, yeah? 60 tons is our max in the sloop. Excellent. We managed to lighten our load. There's pet talks. What do you got over here? Luxuries are pretty good. 21, but it's too far away. Copper plating. Okay, so he's a little bit further away. He's still still moving away from us. Right, log updated. Governor. I will take your daughter to the ball. Come on, give me some info, ma'am. Give me something I can use. We're doing a lot of dancing here, but I just I need some more info. Okay, left and right. She's in between the two speeds. Not as fast as that last one, the, like, what, three dances ago or whatever it was, where it was absolutely mind-numbingly fast. This is still fast. Okay. Okay, got a good spin, good, good. I think we're starting to get the, the sweet spots. Good. Good. Come on. Oh, my name is three in a row. Oh my goodness, jeez. Back. Turn. Turn. Oh, good. Spins, come on! All right, we're doing well. We're getting a good number—not not a lot of spins, but a good number of spins are actually getting uh, put in here. All right, I don't know if we're gonna get a twirl from her, but I think we'll just get a wink. We did okay. Could have gone way worse because it is faster than the normal speed. All right, what do you have for me? Yet another person that we can go ahead and get because they're wanted by the crowd for espionage. There's a lot of people doing espionage over here, huh? There are a lot of people doing espionage here. Oh, we already talked to everyone here. Uh, ship break, good to go. Let's get out of here. Okay. Our crew's pretty pissed. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to fight Baron Armando. We'll go ahead and we'll grab... We'll go and... Grab the last bit of information, try and see if we can get our uncle saved, and then after we save our uncle, we'll have to go and divide the plunder. Our guys are not happy. Oh my goodness, look how fast we are now. Okay, roll shift. Oh my goodness. We're gonna, we're gonna skip it, we're gonna skip it. We're, we're trying to try and stay focused here. We're going up to the Baron. We need to be here at full strength, since there's only us. We need to make sure at full strength here for this fight. We don't have any backup if things go wrong. With our crew count. We need to go and knock down his crew numbers. Actually, they're probably low enough already. Let's get in here. Um, can you do a fight in trying to have less troops when you split the loot? So that like twenty people get very rich instead of hundreds. Yeah, you can. I think you can. You can go ahead and try and uh, game the system like that. Pretty sure you can. It wouldn't be bad for us to do that. But the problem is, Baron Romanda is actually not uh, not too bad. Not amazing. Not too bad. What we might do is we might go try and uh, attack a city and convert another city after we go and get this done. Get another Dutch port over here, maybe. Or maybe an English port over here. Just trying because ideally, we don't necessarily want to have every single port be owned by one nation. The goal would be to have like a good smattering, have it be where no one really has a stronghold location with a bunch of them in the same area. That way, there's constantly places we can plunder. Grand Granada, really. Wow, okay. Uh, someone, get your hiking boots out, boys. This is going to be a long one. Oh my goodness, near Grand Granada? It's over here. 
Get your hiking boots out. We're gonna... <laughs> it's a long ways away. Oh my goodness. Right, governor. Not happy with us because we just uh, killed that person. Or, uh, not killed him, but... Because he's back again and again and again. You know, it's a, this is a kid's game. This is going to be a fast one, isn't it? But, uh, not happy, but let's see if we can get some more information. I mean, if anything, we just get more espionage guys that we can go and track down when we're in, like... When we start moving to new areas, we can just go see if we can track them down. Get a little extra gold here and there, because... It actually doesn't hurt to go and grab all of that information and have it continue to pile up. Because once we divide the loot, we're actually going to be relatively low on funding. So that'll be a really nice way to go and bolster our funds as we are moving through the Caribbean here. But I would like to get more things on Lost Cities than on uh, espionage individuals. We'll see what she gives us. And make sure we dance the night away. Oh, I got some spins in here. There we go. Okay. Come on, spins. There we go. Pretty well so far. Okay. Some spins, come on. We need some spins in here. I went too early on that one. We might be able to get a twirl from her. Ah, just a wink, darn. So close, and yet not quite. Yep, another person to give us even more money later. Oh, and Karaka, that's actually really convenient. Very conveniently located. Ah, uh, Zabam, and uh, the uh, the head of the watch. Who's up, Port Royale? What's going on over here? Port Royale is doing okay. The governor's daughter is beautiful. Um, it's not doing so great on pricing. It is a poor stronghold. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'll teach you some manners, Knave. Let's go ahead and beat this guy up here real quick. And then we'll grab some good information. Alright, Captain of the Guard. Now that I put a bullet in your shoulder, come here. Oh, wait, that just looks so painful. <laughs> Annoying Captain. Go for a thrust. Go for a chop. Oh. I did not manage to get the uh, the parry in there. I went for a duck instead. Duck? Slice. Slice? Or a... Uh, slash. Slash, slash. Perfect. Cleared up. That quick sword of yours will come in handy around these parts. Indeed they will. Alright, what you got for me? Oh, it's all quiet. Okay, you've got no information. Alright. Uh, this town needs some fresh blood. I understand some of the immigrants looking to come here. Okay. We could go ahead and bolster this, but um, it's busting with activity. You want more people here? Really? Alright. I'm not too interested in doing that if I can help it. Let's go ahead and repair. Merchants. Sell off the guns first. And they're always dead weight. They take up so much cargo space and have very little value. I'll sell off food until... Really only yeah, six months. Six months can do because now we have enough that we can sell you off. Perfect. So that 20 people get uh, very rich instead of... Yeah, I was sorry, I'm talking. Uh, it's Spanish. What would they, why help them? We don't really want to help them, to be honest. Because the, the Spanish own this area so, so completely and utterly. We really want to make sure we have a fighting chance. And if we help them get too strong, they'll just start wiping out all the other factions. Which is no good for us. If that happens, we're just not going to be able to have enough uh, raiding targets. Pretty bad for us. Cap Captain's head. That's what I'm looking for. I took six months of food with us because I thought that would be enough. We do have a, a port up here. Go ahead and grab a little extra food. 
port, sir. Okay, we're near it. Another the port to the north, French, it looks like. Five months of food. Crack up the pole. Right, we don't need any repairs. Tavern. What do you got for me? Tortuga is good for luxuries. Yeah, it still says prices fluctuate like crazy over there, though. Oh, hang on a second. Blackbeard. Where is he? Uh, La Villa to... Trade Trade? Trade Trade? I don't know how you pronounce that one. Oh, he's... In... Oh, hey, here we go. So we can go and uh, get our uncle back and then go after Blackbeard. And then circle back over to, like, Havana. Okay. You got anything for us. Alright. Further northbound. How close are we? Okay, Grand Granada is, like, right here. So it should be somewhere around here. I don't see Captain's head anywhere, though. Elizabeth Town. I don't see Captain Head. I feel like we're going too far. We're way past it now. I feel like we've gone right past it. Search northwest of Grand Granada. North, wait, what? Northwest? Alright, so yeah, let's go back down. Go back down south here. My good gracious, we are blasting down here. Some serious speed. Let's go ahead and anchor, say, here. We find a single landmark to make sure we're on the right path. Just trees and trees and trees. I don't see anything on the horizon. We can't do this for too long. We only get so many days out here. How do we get to Grand Granada? <laughs> oh, how do we get to Grand Granada? How do we even do this? Your water is getting louder. That's a geyser. Hold on. Okay, we found a geyser. All right, good, good, good. We found a geyser. Hold on. There's the geyser. Oh my goodness, we're on the right track. So if that's the geyser here, there's another geyser there. Oh, that's not helpful. Oh, we found the right one. Hey, okay, we'll try this geyser. And this geyser. Go north. Go northwest from the geyser. So we're going northwest. Still see nothing on the horizon. We found two geysers. That was a thing. <laughs> Exciting. Wasn't that northeast? Northeast? Yeah, but from, from the geyser, it's northwest, right? Northwest of Grand, uh, um, Grand Granada. Northwest, over here. So if you look at our compass, we're currently going northwest. Along with the wind. Aren't you going northwest from the geyser? Yeah. Oh, did I say east? My bad. I'm going northwest, which I think is the right way. Oh, there's another geyser over here. Oh, jeez. This is a different geyser. I'm just going to keep going northwest. <laughs> I'm going to keep going northwest here. Wait, dead tree. Hold on. Okay, now we have two landmarks next to each other. 
That's great news. Dead tree. Dead tree? De there's no dead tree on here. Oh my goodness. Where are we supposed to go? No dead tree on the map. How do we get to Granada? <laughs> How do we do this? I don't know. Oh my goodness, we're lost. We're lost. Wait, there's the geyser again. We're definitely not going in circles. Yeah, because this, this place is barren over here. Quick search, looking at the spyglass there. Yeah, nothing. Wait, is that a dead tree? This is a dead tree. Okay. I feel like we're looping. We've also spent almost a month running around here. It's top right on compass. Northeast or northwest? Uh, northeast is top top left on compass. So right here is north uh, northwest. That'd be northeast. We need to go northwest. Right? Because we have to go northwest. Because it says northwest of Granada. Of Grand Granada. Northwest of Grand Granada. What's this up here? And our ship's here, so it should have just been due east and over. Is there a way up here? How do we get to Granada? How do we even get here? I think we're going to have to go and uh, reset. There's Port Sur. Let's go... Are you mixing up east and west? I think I might have been saying the wrong thing, but I'm pretty sure I was going the right way. I might have been saying the wrong thing, but I I was going, according to the to the compass here, I was going this direction almost the whole time, which is northeast, which is where we're supposed to go. You can go up the river to the lake? I don't think so. We can go south, but I don't, I don't think we can go up the river. I don't think there even is a river visible. Uh, no, we've, we've passed the river. <laughs> we, we went right past it. There's no there's no visible river here. Go pick up some more food before we end up getting ourselves in too much trouble here. I know they still have some spare on hand. Not the tavern. Oops. That's all their food. You're going to be getting in trouble soon. And then... Dynamics not too important. Blackbeard's got a low slash skill, okay. You don't care about the daughter too much. So if we go from here, and we anchor here, there's a dead tree here. Take a look at the map. We are now very much south, right? So let's see if we can get to it. Like, I don't know how we get there. Because we can't go around. There's no there's no Panama Canal, right? We're going to have to run across. I don't know how exactly we get there. Maybe we have to land perfectly due east and then just run perfectly due west until we get to it. So west to lake, then follow, take north. Yeah, so if we go west to lake... North, Northwest-ish. Like this get to a lake. Supposedly. We go northwest-ish. Looking with the, the spyglass here, and I'm, I'm seeing absolutely bupkis. There's a geyser. Oh wait, hold on. Here's a geyser and here's the water. All right, so we found the water. All right, so we are probably right here. We just need to, we just need to follow the coast here. We follow along the coast, and we should get to Granada. 
And then from Gana Granada, then we go north, uh, west. And we can get there. Hopefully we can buy some provisions in Granada. That'd be great. Definitely could use it. Okay, the geyser. This compass makes no sense to you? What do you mean? Uh, the red arrow is the wind. The red arrow on the compass is the wind. That's the wind. The, um... This, this gold piece here, that's north. This is the wind. So hopefully that helps clear it up. There it is, we found it. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Grand Granada. Um, don't, don't go back to the ship. Is that what the confusion was? Is that the, the, wind speed, the wind's direction? Okay, so we made it to Grand Granada. We still have five months on us, though, so that's still fine. So we can go... Northwest of Granada, right? That means we're right here right now. It's northwest. Um, northwest of Grand Granada. Weird seeing Captain's head over here, though. Wait, does that mean we have to go up here? It's here. Oh my good gracious. Okay, so Grand Granada is here. Go to Grand Granada and reset. Okay, so then we go north by northwest. So we have to go to that little peninsula, I think. Oh my goodness, this is one heck of a journey. <laughs> this is... This this could have been done better. This this could have been, been done a whole lot better game. Here, geyser. Is that just the ocean? Maybe it's just the ocean. Canning. Canning for landmarks. Northwest here. Geyser. Get over this geyser here. Might be close. Okay, so this guy's over here. He might have gone too far. Okay, so if we go from this geyser here, and if we assume this is the right geyser, we're going to continue going northwest, yeah? If we assume this is the right geyser, we keep going northwest. There's a dead tree. Man, I don't remember a dead tree being on the on the map. There's no dead tree on the map. There's no dead tree. Okay, is there anything else? That geyser. Wait a second. There's another geyser over here. Let's try this one. Go east a little bit. Maybe I went too far. And then from here... No, oh, same. There's a dead tree. North. Oh, for gracious sakes. <laughs> I just want to go and find our uncle. Why is this so tough? There's another geyser way over here. I just need to find a totem. And there's another geyser over here, too. If we could just find a totem, that would kind of fix our problems here. Worst case, we have to restart and then just, uh... Oh, what's that? What's that? I, thought I, saw, I thought I saw a landmark that was different. I hear a geyser. We can go to that real quick. This geyser. This way. If only I could see where we were on this map. You know? That would be huge. Because I think we have to go here. 
Because otherwise, I don't see how there could be a skull in the ocean. And the thing is, geysers are not what we're looking for. If we could find a temple, deserted caverns, stone heads, arches, or totems, we'd know we're on the right track. We've spent so many months just wandering in the in the woods here. Technically in the jungle, but it doesn't really look like a jungle. Man, I don't want to have to reset. Does anyone have any tips or tricks of what we could do to make this more uh, direct to target? I'm going due west now, because I feel like we went too far north. Are you sure the map is due north? Oh yeah, the map's due north. The map's due north. It's got a compass right here. This map shows due north. We've gone from here to here to... Honestly, I think we might have overshot it at this point. You mean the map to the uncle? Yeah, yeah. Maps are always that way. Maps are always uh, north-south. I, I don't I don't know how to get to him. We, we're just aimlessly walking and slowly letting, leaving our guys to starve. And granted, time goes by slower when we're walking than um, when we're sailing, but... There's a dead tree over there. Can I find a totem? A totem. When is there an inland lake northwest of Granada? I don't think there's an inland lake northwest of, in, uh, of uh, Granada. I, I think it might be a... A bay or something? I don't know. I actually don't know my geography in that territory quite so well. It's a dead tree. With a... An animated swaying uh, skull boy here. Skelly bones. Clearly enclosed on the treasure map. That's enclosed, yeah. And Granada, if this is northwest of Granada, that means Granada's down here. Somewhere down there. But the thing is, does that mean it's this one? Because it the, the issue, the thing that's throwing me off on this is that there's water here and open water here for the captain's head. Maybe I'm going too crazy, and instead, actually, what we need to do is go up here somewhere and come south. Let's go back to the ship and let's try going south. Let's go back to the ship and let's try going south instead. We're far enough lost out in the, uh, out in the jungle that I'm not going to be able to reorient myself back to Granada to reset. Let's go this way. I was assuming we'd find a landmark here at some point, but maybe we have to go. Maybe the landmark is way, way further north than I was expecting. Also, we need to pick up some more food. <laughs> We're running a little low. We've gone through half of our food so far. Let's pick up some more food. These areas aren't going to be flush with it, so. I'll take that back. Soon, had quite a bit. I was worried there wouldn't be a lot. Tavern, what you got? Yes, I talked. Copper plating. Spanish bark. It's a pirate. It's a pirate and a parrot. Uh, no repairs needed. Left tunnels of open space. Alright, off we go. As you said, this is a children's game. You may be overthinking this. I think, I, I think you're right. I think I am overthinking this. I think you're right. This is a children's game. There's zero blood in it. No, there's there's no like there's there's flirting, sure, but like not really, right? This is not this is not a game for not designed specifically for adults. Jamestown. Actions. We set ourselves all the way here. All there is to romance is dancing. Yep, that's how that's how adults romance. All right, 
As we all know, that's how adults romance by dancing, and that's it. Bare barely touching hands and dancing. That's how that's how adults romance. That's how they've always romanced, and that's how they always will romance. That's exactly right. Governor head. Blackbeard. Well, one good thing here. Oh my goodness, we have both we have both of the reigning pirates here. We can go hit a Blackbeard and uh, Lafayette. The adventure prize. All right, Blackbeard, prepare thyself. You and your frigate. Nope, no good, no luck, no dice. A little grief shot. He comes in for a broad. Ooh, it's a good broadside. It's a little short though. Oh my! Oh. oh, that was painful. We have to do combat. We can't. Um, we can't take a second shot of that. This is the, the biggest downside of using the uh, the Royal Sloop or Sloop class ships in general is um, two solid broadsides and and we sink. <laughs> we have to. We have to combat. There's, we have no options. Oh my goodness! Oh, wings and beards on fire. Uh, sir, your beard's on fire. Ah, right, Blackbeard. Go for the sweep. Go for the chop once we get to the stairs. For the chop. Oh, big dodges. Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay, go for a quick stab. Go for a slash. Now we'll run back up the stairs. Give him with a taunt. Welcome. Taunt him again. Oh, dodge it. Nope, I didn't dodge that. Come on. Stop! Oh, the bucket to the face! It's so rude. Oh, my he didn't even dodge the first one! Oh, Blackbeard. Poor guy. Oh my good gracious Blackbeard, that's a lot of money. Wow. Take all that. A whopping 19,200 coin. Wow, Blackbeard. Alright, and... Jean Lafayette, don't you even think about it. Actually, our ship's in horrible condition for this fight. I don't know what I was thinking. We actually need we need to immediately board. We need a board right now. <laughs> we can't we can't do a prolonged fight. We're just gonna sink. With the grape shot. Try and give us a, a bit more of an advantage on troop count. Ah, too slow. Alright, we, we have to fight him. <laughs> we can't do this. We can't do uh, a shots. We can't exchange fire. Way too much damage. That's true. Places where dancing has been outlawed, there's no romance at all. Zero romance occurs. Go for the sweat to slash. Go for the chop. How's it going, Nova? How are you doing today? Oh, the bucket. And the slash. So easy. Too easy. Is he gonna dodge the first one? Oh my! What? I didn't see that coming. Uh, that was hysterical. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> uh, that, uh, this, that right there is the perfect moment of gloating too early, isn't it? It's <laughs> amazing. Uh, I've been playing some Baldur Gate 3. Nice, nice. I uh, used to be a very normal rogue fighter. Now I've become a rogue bard. Oh. A swashbuckler, if ever I've seen one. All right, and there we go. We are now the only notorious pirate left in the entire Spanish main. Hangman's head. There's a lot of heads over here. That's really good news. Uh, wow, cannons are literally zero, so I guess we'll just sell off some food. We now have too much food, funnily enough. 
Uh, yeah, sales are at 94 damage on sales. Holy... Way too much damage. Uh, number de Dios. It's pretty good for luxury goods. All quiet here. Nothing special there. Let's head south. Captain said, here he is. We found it. Okay. Alright, we found it. I'm not sure status. Talk to the Abbots. It's also food for a tiny profit. Perfect. If anything, you call it the Silver Tongue Stabber. Your, your bard, um. Bard Rogue. Road bark. Okay, so yeah, there's there's the one. Uh, that's that inland piece of water. Okay, we. All right, I just need to go further north. All right, so essentially due south is where we need to go. Let's go in a little westward, and then south. And then if we see first deserted, then him. Oh, get stuck on it. Is this him? It's also a deserted one. We'll check it real quick. Yeah, I know this is a deserted one. Okay. Alright, we're, we're on the right track. We just gotta get to the top of this hill here so we can actually see. Um, hello? There's the arches. D deserted. What? There's the stone heads. It's the totems. So it's gotta be this way, right? No, stone head, deserted, deserted, deserted. So where's that other? And the arch is here. Wait, so at the arch. What? Wait, there's an arch here. So maybe I'm too far down? Um, okay, so that's the abandoned ruins. It's a totem. So we have the abandoned ruins, and we have the totem over there. There's the head. Go southeast, you think? Back this way. Ah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. It's a dead tree here. The stone head. There it is. Thank you. Good call, Straw. Good call. We found it. Oh my goodness. It was a long time coming to go find our uncle. Rescued your long lost uncle. Just locked in a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. You've rescued your long-lost uncle. I have an amazing story to tell you, he says. While held captive, I managed to obtain this piece of a map to the legendary lost city of the Incas. I will trust this map to you for safekeeping. Huge. Uh, we need to look for dagger or something near uh, Villa Hermosa. Perfect. Literally, we just need to go and find Villa Hermosa now. We go and we clear this out. We just take a look around. There's Villa Hermosa. Wait, Villa Hermosa is a Dutch territory? Since when? Uh, okay, I don't remember that. I don't remember that being there. Okay, so there's Villa Hermosa. So we can go and jump on that right now. In the vicinity of Villa Hermosa. All right, let's head on over. I was going to try and drop off some of these ships if I can, though. It's going to be a bit to offload the food, now I think about it. So just offload whatever food we can. Yeah, our crew's still grumpy, so we want to do as much as we can over here on the far west side of the Caribbean, and then try and get ourselves back to the east side. And then, once we get to the east side... So drop a bunch. Once we get to the east side, we'll divide the plunder. 
Guns are worth one. You know what? That's fine. I need to, <laughs> I need to offload stuff right now. You're too, mm -hmm. carrying too much stuff. Go ahead and drop you. Crazy, like, fully upgraded really good. We just don't need them. Uh, Tavern, any good news about our... Yes. We talk? Family. So we still need some more family info. We're not going to go ahead and hit that. Hey. Another fish stone. There's a lot of port. There's a lot of ports over here. Wait, Captain said. Wait, what? There are two two places called Captain's Head. Did I just see that right? Wait a second. That can't be right. They got literally no money. Oh, we should go to the tavern. We need to make sure we keep checking for info about our family. Nope. But this only has a garrison of twenty people. Wow, we can take that over and plunder it if we wanted to. No problem. Not gonna go hit that. We're not gonna go hit that ship. We definitely want to let our crew numbers start subsiding because we're not gonna be doing any big fighting right now. We're just gonna be sailing. Sailing and searching. Like a rock. You hope. Who's pretty good here? Oh, I didn't even realize we had some spice on him. We're gonna continue to focus on removing the um, food from inventory. Bunch of span. Oh, Spanish treasure ship up here. Oh, tempting. We're trying to offload stuff right now. We're trying to just get from A to Z. Who would it be to attract the treasure ship? Dude, real quick, uh, what does the... What's Captain's Log say? The English and the French are happy if we go hit up the Spanish. Everyone's happy if we harass the English, though. So I think we're going to go in back to focusing on harassing the English. Because then that'll give us uh, rankings in all three others. Which really means our best place to go would be back up towards Nassau and harass the English up around Nassau. Because we've got Havana to get the promotions from the Spanish, we've got uh, the Grand Bahama to get promotion from the Dutch, and we have what, Tortugas one and then... Is there another large city? Because we can't go to these, like, settlements. We have to go to an actual, like, true city if we want to get a promotion. I think there's another... I think there is a French city up there. I think there's one of each up there now. What's the name of the rock you're looking for? Oh, we're not looking for any rocks right now. Oh, actually, yeah, we are. We are looking for... Dagger or something. We're not quite there yet, though. Uh, we need to get all the way down here. So we're looking for dagger or something. Three knots. Oh my goodness. Dagrin. Capache. Down here. Daggeroth. Maybe, maybe. See, what can I sell? We can sell. Oh, spice actually pretty decent uh, piece of price. Lost we'll some more food. Perfect. That's enough. Now go ahead and sell this off. Ah, perfect. This is what we're looking for. Okay, our aunt is missing for many years. Uh, information on where we can go near Portobello. Oh, perfect. All right. Reset. We now know where he is. We can go and try and hit him up on our way back. We're not, we're not going to go and attack these. Bunch of ruffians. Yep. Actually, wait, there's a governor here. We've been hitting mostly Spanish ships, but... Any other info? No info right now. We'll go to the ball. Please don't be too fast. Please don't be too fast. Okay, here we go. Okay, no. Regular speed. Regular speed. We got this. Tell me about lost cities, please, if you'd be so kind. Can you get in the rhythm for the spins? 
Uh, I need some spins. The spin move in here. Too fast. There it is. Gotta wait a little longer. Getting some spins in now. Okay, usually I'm pretty good once you hit this combo. Well, I think about it too much, of course. The nice thing is that these dances are actually the same. So you can start getting used to what the next step is going to be as you start getting, as you play with more of these. That's not so much of a surprise. Oh my goodness, look at all the spins! We've been crushing it! Oh my goodness! We're doing so well! Alright, and that's the end of the song. We get a spin for the last one? No. But we definitely got a twirl from her, for sure. Definitely got a twirl. Give me that twirl. There it is. Yes. Now you have cooties? Yeah, unfortunately we do pick up cooties, but it's a it's a cost we're willing to take. We're willing to pay that cost because we need to get more info. Unfortunately, it was info about Baron Romando and the name of his ship, which is not super useful. It's useful, but not, like, super useful. What do you got? Oh my goodness! Oh no, no, sorry, I thought it was the, uh, the one up here. <laughs> Never mind, this is fine. Luxury's at 36, though. Really good. And goods at 16. This is actually a great city to sell stuff to. Great post. We're not gonna go and attack that ship. I was bustling with ruffians and Indian tech might deal with the riffraff. Yeah, you know, it hurt. Uh, if we, if we see one, we'll, if we see an Indian encampment, we can go ahead and send one over. That's about. We haven't done that yet. Uh, Villa Hermosa. We made it. Dagger Reef is what it's called. Dagger Reef. Alright, what you got? Can I get a promotion, please? I've been knocking down a bunch of French. Oh, no, you're only at war with the English. It's not helpful. Oh, but that's good enough! Nice! We are now at Marquis. As a result, uh, merchants have more goods in Dutch ports. Get an extra 150 acres on the outskirts of town. And we'll take your plain daughter to the ball, sure. Look at all of our extra little, um... Uh, badges. Badges? What, what's it called? Uh, awards? I'm blanking on the term. Badges of honor. Medals. That's what it is. Thank you so much, Strahd. <laughs> like, blanking entirely. <laughs> All right. See if she'll give us some good info here. Come on. I need some good info. We're dancing the night away. Oh, yeah. Here we go with the spins. Oh, yeah. Here we go with the spins. I whiffed that one. Come on. I had that one. Nope, still too early. I'm hitting it too early. There we go. Alright, I'm really good at this part. <laughs> Got a little early there. Got ahead of myself. We got a good number of spins in now. We're very we're up very close. Uh, so again, we zoom in as we do really well. The better we do, the further we zoom in. It shows intimacy. Oh my goodness, this dance. The romance. Yes. Alright. Good. Oh, we didn't even get a spin from her? What? We must have been so close to getting a twirl off of that. Coming rogue. Oh, even more money. Perfect. Okay. We'll keep it on the list. That'll be good again. Once we divide the loot, that's gonna be really good to have. Hello, what's over here? Nothing too useful now. It detoxed. 
Uh, I bet a new governor here would help out. Yeah, a new governor over here would help out a lot, but they're really far away for us to go get a nearby one. When Veracruz? No, I don't that. Uh, merchant. Uh, we don't need to sell or buy anything. We're fine. Oh my gracious, the food's two? Wow, that was a great price. Okay. So... We land here at... No. Okay, uh, we land here. No! <laughs> the Dagger Reef. Okay, anchor here. Okay. Dagger Reef. Essentially due south. Due south. Looking for that city. Is this it? Never seen this before. Is, is this a city? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. A thorough search of a legendary lost city of Incas revealed treasure worth 50,000 gold pieces. Holy. Please. Is that a buried treasure right there? Uh, I guess, yeah. Fun. That's a bunch of money for us. Alright. That one is now done. Now we have the treasure on the far side. We've got a whole bunch of people that are evading uh, espionage nonsense. All of them have essentially the same last, the same name. Ban Raimondo's under the sign. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead back. Um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to split up the plunder before we go for Baron Ramondo's nonsense. Transporting troops. Oh, actually, let's um, let's escort these guys. If this can get over here, this could uh, further fortify the Dutch port, which would be very good. I would like them to make it. If they can get to uh, Villa Hermosa, that'd be really good. That looks like they're in the clear. It'll go from a poor stronghold to probably a similar poor stronghold, but better. Uh, if we go ahead and clear this out. Yeah, it actually has, there's no military might here. It is a stronghold, but they only have coinage. They only have trade. They don't have any actual troops. So once this lands, there we go. Now they actually have some troops. So now if we take a look here, they actually have a cannonball. We like this. This means it's more likely they'll stick around longer. Oh, that new work new actually is going to cause problems. Long sleep for their lives. Okay, well, they lost population, but they're a wealthy trading post now. Nice. Worked out well. Running a new governor. Alright, we just need to get ourselves all the way to the east side of the Caribbean here. If we, if we can get ourselves over to, like, St. Kitts or something... I'm thinking we divide the plunder. I'm thinking we actually let's go over towards uh, Margarita, which is where this guy is, and then we can go and divide the plunder, and then we can go pick up the treasure from um, Oloness's treasure, which would probably. I'm just, oh my good gracious, we were just blasting. That was really fast. Uh, we can then go ahead and use that treasure to jumpstart us again after we uh, after we go ahead and divide the plunder here, because our crew is getting very upset with us. We really need to divide the plunder. Okay, we're going a little too far north, so let's go and cut back down. Trying to keep the wind uh, filling our sails, we're actually making some decent progress going east. The wind is rarely at our on our side here. Having us go east. Gotta love the boost from those. Those are great. It does do damage to the sails, but it still helps out a lot. Who's this? Transporting troops. Probably going to Vanus, so that's fine. Hey, where are you going? St. Augustine? Wait, what? So it's gonna like land here and run across, I guess? Wild. If it works. 
Uh, do you have the second object for morale yet? Yes, we've got the second. We've got both objects for morale. Uh, where's our was it status? Yeah, we have both of our instruments to improve morale, and we have the quartermaster for enforcing discipline, as well as the cook. Like we we've got everything we can. Ooh, actually, let's go and save these guys real quick here. Save the Flutter Keys. Save the keys. We don't want the this port town to be taken over by the Spanish. We need uh, some French influence up here. Don't you dare. Got a couple of holes in our sail. Fire. Get in here for combat. Alright. Bring out the longsword. Take him down. You dare attach a, attack a French trade post? You a true monster. True monster indeed. He's got stands no chance. The slash. Go for the thrust. Dodge him. Oh. No chance. Chunk of change. Bunch of food. Bunch of guns. We'll take this and just, you know, poke right onto the keys. It's a flourishing trade post. There's only 800 people here. There's not much. Uh, Governor, I just saved you. Okay, what were the evil friends? Oh, uh, Spanish. Yes, you are. Hey, they're getting ranked at the Baron Perverts. As we should. You get 650 extra acres of estate. Excellent. The attractive daughter is here to say hi. I don't have a diamond necklace. I don't know where to find one. No, she doesn't believe me. That's not good. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, what do you mean? Alright, let's go drop off some cannons. Drop off some food. Get us back down to 40 food. Eight months worth for the shipwright. Sail damage eight. Sell you. Actually, forgot to go to the tavern real quick. Sloop of War, huh? We're gonna have to check out that. Tavern, what do you have? Oh, stuff on Port Royale. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's fine. It's fine, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Knock him down real quick. Bam. Start us with a good advantage. Bonk. Go for a chop once we get here. Chuck him. Go for the chop. Slash. Oh, the thrust. Taunt. Taunt him again. Parry. Poke him. Taunt him. Jump. Poke him. Oh, slash. Chop. There we go. More crew want to join us, but we're not picking up any extra crew here. Dent. Nope, not helpful. What is this? A bunch of money. On its way to the south of us. Hmm. Let's see here. Captain's Log. Who's at war with who? Ah, they're all spread out again. So it looks like either attacking the Spanish or attacking the English is the way to go. Okay. Darn. The English is made up with the French. Bummer. Okay, you guys aren't doing anything crazy. Alright, so we managed to save them, so it's good. We got promoted as well. Orkney's floating around. Ah, Van defended it. A lot of war canoes over here. Oh no, these are smugglers. Those are war canoes. Testing. Alright, so ideally we just want to get ourselves as far east as we can. And then we're going to go and divide the loot. We're over here. We need to get ourselves down over here to the Saints. Saint Kitts. The like. We can get ourselves over there. That'd be huge. 
be a great spot for us to start back up again. Because then we can go ahead and figure out where these guys are in that territory. Because it's just such a dense area of cities. A good number of these guys should be there for us to get our money back on point. Crazy, we've got over a quarter of a million golden doubloons. We are absolutely rolling in it. I mean, think about, like, the... Think about the exchange rate and, uh, and inflation between then and now. How, mu how much would 267,889 golden de Spanish doubloons... How, how much would that convert over to modern money? It's insane to think about. Spanish Raider, where's that going? French town. Oh, that's that same town. They keep uh, exchanging hands right now. Another Raider? Where are you going? Santiago to an English colony. Okay. As long as it's not going to the, the treasure ship. Oh. Military payroll. What's that going to do? Nothing. I don't actually want to go here. Let me go all the way around. Oh, there's a lot of payroll. Sh Jeez, there's a lot of stuff going on in this area. No wonder uh, Liberté over here is a, a good pirate haven. Holy. Alright. Actually, we don't have to go all the way to Kits. If I remember correctly, one of them is actually hiding in the tavern in Caracas. No, not Caracas. In uh, Krakow. The uh, the Dutch port we started in. Actually, if we blast down here... We could probably go and uh, split our goods down here. And, uh... Oh, wait. Who's this? Oh, we found Baron Romano. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't mean to. But we found him all the same. We'll attack them when we can. Again, losing some crew members right now is ideal. That just means we get more uh, more money for ourselves. Because, you know, we're, I got a quarter million buckarinos. We only get 5% of that. Not nearly as much as we deserve. Let's get in here. We now have more troops than him. Better than Raimondo. Jumps, big stabs. Oh, there we go. What you got? Big jumps, big stab. Still got a good block there. Big jump, we'll go for the chop then. Oh my goodness, Faye's getting better. There we go, he opened himself up. Make it more than 5% after increasing difficulty. Oh, that's right, I didn't double check that, I don't know. We might. Lost Ant is somewhere over here in a place that we have no idea. Would it be worth it to draw out the duel for more deaths? Uh, it could be, yeah. If we want to metagame it. Probably could be. We got a Dutch Raider. Where's that going? Ah, it's going to Rio de la Jolla. Okay. We'll let them do what they do. Merchant. Actually, somehow we're low on guns. What? Did we just not get guns from that? That's... that's... Huh. Yes, yeah, there's nothing going on over here I can see. Ah, more news. Uh, where is he? He's over by... Okay, we'll, we'll literally just fight him again. Just literally go hit him up again since he just got spawned in over there. He is. We found you! 1,000 gold, very well spent. Just having him spawn immediately. Of course, we are taking quite a bit of damage here. Again, I didn't restock on guns. I didn't think I was going to need to. Probably should have done that before leaving. It only costs like three gold per. That's not hurt. Wow, did I not get any of those shots off? Alright, here we go. Alright, Romando. They were already down 30 pirates from when we fought them last time. 
bucket. You don't even get to hit him in the face with the bucket. He just stops. Oh, here we go. There's some vicinity of Gibraltar. We don't have the landmark, but the general spot here. That's not bad. Yeah, there we go. Now we actually got cannons. Jeez. Let's keep. I'll right back over here to read the which is currently under attack by Dutch Raiders. We're not going to interfere. We're just going to. We're just going to. Don't mind me. I'm just going to sell some stuff here real quick. Hey, um, Spaniards, just curious. By any chance, would you like to, like, buy a semi functional ship while you're under siege so you can actually use it to defend yourself? Does that sound, um, uh, sound good to you? That's pretty good. There you go. Go ahead and use it in the war. Alright, what do we got? Maracabo. Um, nothing really important. 140 troops. Yep, okay, done. Alright, Governor! Oh, nope, sorry, I don't have anything for you. Where are you going to? Caracal? Oh, for de uh, peace with the Dutch? No, I don't think it'll be necessary at all. I think it'll be perfectly fine without having an escort. I'm sure this Dutch raider... Oh, look, I, I wonder if that's the ship that we just let out. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure the peace treaty ship's not going to have any issues. <laughs> Insta instantly plundered. Oh, my goodness. Transporting troops. Where are you going to? I think that's actually going straight to... Uh, I think that's actually reinforcements right now, going to Rio de la Hoya. Uh, Rio de la Hoya right now. Alright, actually our crew is at meh right now, which is pretty good. We have some little extra wig wiggle room here. But we still need to go ahead and divide the plunder, because we, uh, when we do that, it actually gets put into our personal logs here for wealth. Our wealth, most, most of our wealth points are coming off of land. Almost none of it's coming off of personal savings. We only have 783 buccarinos in savings. We most definitely need to divide the plunder. It's gotta happen. We gotta do it. So we need to go check taverns again and see if we can get uh, Baron Raimondo to uh, pop back up again. We just need one more piece of that map. Crux oh! Pirate tank was defeated by the Crocus militia. That's good. You like seeing that? All right, we're almost to... Wait, we went way past my target. We went so fast, we went like this. We went way past where I was going. Um, I guess we can go in... Re retire in Margarita then? And just not talk to the bartender and activate the thing? I guess that works. We'll divide this. We'll divide the spoils here. Actually, let's do one more fight here. Let's go grab these guys real quick. Oh, we can talk to the governor and see if we can be ranked up again. Because we're not fully ranked, are we? With the... Yeah, we're one off. We're still one off of the Dutch. Let's see what we can get. That's not the best war at all. Oh, jeez. All right, so they're attacking us this time. We're gonna have to repel borders. They set our ship ablaze, monsters. Sit down, mister. There we go. Maybe you can draw it out until you have 3k per. Uh, find out what the magical number is and keep them happy forever. Nah, I don't really want a metagame like that, if I can help it. I, I like the challenge. But we could definitely do it, Crater. Definitely could, it's an option. But I'd rather continue to, to have morale be a, a mechanic that's active in the game that we have to worry about. Yeah, take all that and bring them with us. A little grape shot. I should surrender instantly. Alright. Nice. Perfect. Over to Margarita. Do 
is now May. Oh, let's jump down here real quick. Monastich Stronghold. Okay. This is just a poor Spanish port. Merchants. Food's not that great. Sugar is not worth selling at all. But the cannons we can do. Yeah, the food and everything else is not that great. Right, we'll wait to repair elsewhere. We can repair and sell these elsewhere. Uh, tavern, we don't... Well, we can't talk to that guy in this case. Okay. Santiago again for the sugar. Yeah, I know. I don't know. The government's not going to give us anything. We've been beating up the, <laughs> We've been beating up the Spanish for a bit here. Being forced to take shore leave seems like an anti fun mechanic to you. Um... Yes and no. Uh, I think it kind of depends. I think the advantage of it is if you plan to keep playing at that difficulty level. I'm planning to up the difficulty level when we do this. Can we get another promotion? Come on. Ah, nope. I've got nothing for you. Sorry. Merchant. I sell here. Sugar's worth like nothing, but we're going to try and empty our coffers here. We want money for everything we can get. Go. Drop off everything we can here. Sell off those, repair this. Alright, perfect. I think that's it. If we divide the plunder... Okay, yeah, we do get 10% now. You're right, you're right. We do. Let's see, each each man gets 2,172, but we get 27,760. Pretty good. Consider your crew are all happy people who joined up for money. If you don't uh, if they don't see money, they're gonna get pissed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's uh because we're playing journeyman, we get 10%. So you were you were right on that one, Straw. We do get more, so that makes sense. Let's go ahead and divide it up. And we're going to advance to adventure captain. Your health is good. As the months pass, you become bored of the life of land. Your flagship reset, uh, refitted, and we're ready to go. Yeah, so we can retire, but we're not gonna retire yet. We're not done. Uh, we're not gonna stick to the same difficulty level. We're gonna go even harder. We'll increase the difficulty level, which means ship combat's gonna be a little tougher. But more importantly, sword fights are gonna be a lot harder. The sword fights have been relatively easy. There's some that like stall us for a little bit, but they've been relatively easy. This is gonna be a lot harder now. Alright, so actually we should have sold off another 20 tons of food, looks like. Okay. I heard that if you go to Swashbuckler, it's basically impossible. Um, yeah, you have to pick... I think it's if you go for the highest difficulty setting of the game, you then have to pick the fencing option for your skill when you create a character. Six months wasted just sitting in town, it's true, yeah. But you have to pick the fencing uh, trait, or you literally can never win a, uh, a sword fight. I think it's what it is. Or at least not against any of the big bosses. Alright, to the tavern. What you got for me? Info that we don't care too much about. There's a trade galleon swinging on by, and might be useful. We have to go see who we have to be fighting. Missionaries. I thought there was going to be some guys here we could... Maybe they moved. Oh my goodness. 72 men want to join our crew. We only have 40. Yep, get aboard, boys. We need these guys. That might even be all the guys we had before, because it puts us at back to 112 or 113 that we were at prior. Uh, check status. Captain's Law. What are we looking at? Okay, so... any We can pick any one, and we'll get two things leveled up. We want to go and finish off the Dutch, so we're going after English or the Spanish. We'll be bolstering the Dutch and the French. Because if we can just finish off the Dutch, then we can actually just raid every single Dutch one we find all the time to make sure the others start going up. It is an option. I don't like doing that. The Dutch are not really in a great position here, so we'd be bullying them. But it gives us the ability to. Alright. Let's go ahead and sail off. Most important thing here first is we actually near Marita at Dagger Rock. I think on the other side is where we need to go. Grab the Spanish Raider here. Ah, uh, the Raider. Alright. Dodge it. 
I think also it might be... I don't know if we can stick to... I was thinking of swapping over to a larger ship. We, with the difficulty, we're going to have to see how it is with the difficulty. We might, we might have to switch to a different ship. If sword fighting ends up being too difficult, we'll have to switch to a different ship. I know over time, as your character gets older, it gets harder. All right. He's got some, some dodging skills, but so far, nothing new. Pretty easy so far. Chomp. Jump. Stab. Yeah, okay, still still got the same difficulty. I'm not, not noticing anything different on the basic guys. Just saying it was a very expensive long vacation. It's true, yeah. Yeah, six months. Six months vacation. Half a year to go just kind of putter around. Yeah, we'll go ahead and welcome these, boards, uh, these lads aboard. Go ahead and hit you up too. The Dutch are still at war with the French. Or sorry, with the Spanish and the English. So if we can just go ahead and hit up a bunch of Spanish ships here. And then just go right back into right back into Margarita. Turn the rudder. We might be able to get ourselves promoted one last time here real quick. Five more guns left. Two more guns. Two more guns. Check everything. And we'll spin back around. Alright. Governor, would you be so kind as to promote me? Nope. Okay. Not yet. Uh, shipwright, let's go ahead and repair our ship. Merchant. Mm, goods for nine is not bad. Uh, guns for two is better than when we sell things, sell guns for one. And can I get this down to 40? I can. Perfect. So we can go ahead and sell you and sell you. Tavern. Um, I'm not sure it's pretty good. Not yet, though. Nothing else is, uh, Jumping out at me. His daughter. Okay. What do we have here? We have no knowledge of Baron Romando, but let's go ahead and let's get this. This is east of. Let's go get this treasure. We've got 24,000 coin on hand right now, so we've already already had a great start. Yeah, we were at a modest uh, Dutch stronghold, so we definitely could have uh, been on landfall at significantly worse locations. It's like a, a poor English port or something, but it really sucks. Dagger Rock. It's in east, right? That's on our way, why not? It's on our way east. Three guns? Jeez, how many guns did this thing have? Five when we started the fight? Got one gun per side of the ship now. Now it has none. Okay. We would have taken that. Dagger Rock. Oh, is it? Oh, there's Dagger Rock. Okay, perfect. We found it. So when you get on the inland side here. Keep tacking back and forth here so we can actually get some speed. Come on. Oh. Alright, so... Where is this treasure? Oh, it's over here. We actually didn't have to go to the inside. It looks like maybe here-ish? Get to the top of this little hill here. Not actually little at all, is it? Dead tree. No. Oh. Yeah. Found it. Nice. What do we get? How much money is this? What? Like, what was it? 2k, 4k? So this would be what? 6k? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Definitely something we can write home about. Alright. So that's done. We need to go and track down Baron Raimondo. But in the meantime, uh, you're over in Veracruz. You're over in um, Leogan Leogani. You're hanging out in Guadalupe, so we can go. To, we can go get Guadalupe. That's an option. Uh, we got Barbados, so Barbados and Guadalupe. Uh, we've got Caraco. Do we know that one? Got Nassau. It's a little too far for us for Nassau. Oh, we got wait two guys here. And Antigua. So what was it? It was Caraco, uh, Barbados. Uh, Antigua and Guadalupe. Let's go north. Looks like north there's three of them. Good treasure ship. Trade galleons. No, they're treasure galleons. The trade galleon. Get these treasure galleons here. Treasure! Oh no, right in the wind. We're just gonna have to eat that shot. Oh, we are burning. Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, we need to get closer. Can't keep getting hit. Can't believe this missed. We gotta get closer. Oh, come on, our poor ship. on land. Board them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew. How's it going, Terminus? How are you doing today? Well, this one of the uh, this is one of the greatest pirate games ever. It's such a good pirate game. Oh, dear. Alright. Here we go. Where did those come from? We just suddenly had a hook that we could just grab them with. Back up the thrust. Jump, thrust, chop. Our chop's faster than his chop. The treasures are bigger the longer the owner is active. Oh, okay. So you just beat them up, and they'll be fairly small. Okay. Then yeah, a handful of these treasures are gonna be fairly small. <laughs> Welcome aboard, lads. Oh my goodness, the amount of goods we're picking up. Pretty big. Get this treasure galleon next. We are pretty badly beaten, so we, if we can stay behind and not... Oh, jeez, they're going to get us with a good broadside here. Oh, get north! We're just going to literally try and land on them as fast as we can. A little grip shot. There we go. That quickly knocked them down to our level. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Quickly knocked him down from 100 and change to like only 60. He like halved their uh, their group count. Retaliate? Perfect. Got him. 20 more boys want to join. Welcome aboard, lads. Oh my goodness, this is great. Alright, we're starting to get a good old army going here. A good crew size here. Oh, they're happy making some songs. Go ahead and swing on by Pirate Haven here. Quite expensive, but we'll do it. Merchants, what can I sell here? Really nothing of value. Right. I don't know if buy goods. That'd be nice. Uh, tavern, let's pick up some more boys. We're still short. Ooh, more news. Yes, where is the Baron? Oh my goodness, he's all the way in St. Augustine, the far north. Oh, brutal. Let's also got the light, light ink with the jump. And Guadalupe's daughter is beautiful. Okay. Northward bound. Let's go get this smuggler. What that missed? Alright. Catch this guy? Yeah, we can. Only 12 knots, 13 knots. Alright. 
hard to port. Alright, fire off starboard. Back to starboard. Change the chain shot. Hard to port. Starboard cross side. Pretty good shot there, actually. Oh, another volley. Now yeah, we're barely flipping with half of our shots. Should have slowed down down enough that we can catch up. There we go. Oh my goodness, he's actually fighting. There's only 26 boys. Okay. Alright, go down. Stop. Ah, I tried to, tried to taunt him there. Dump it. Poke him. Ah, nope. I'm supposed to parry that one. I'm gonna have to start practicing here. Oh, he's only got one guy left. <laughs> he's bad out. How's it going, Cliche? How are you doing today? Fun fact. At the time, Forks was um, actually called uh, Larber. Fort wasn't a thing until the 19th century. Wait, really? Why was it called Larbor? Is that because it's like a, a landing board? Is that like the what this plank essentially was? Is that what the Larbor is? I don't know. No clue? Yeah, what? Okay, hold on. Larboard. What is Larboard? Larboard is the archaic term of port. Yeah, 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 but why? Why was it changed? Um, Larboard, or the loading side, uh, over time, Larboard, too easily confused with Starboard, was replaced with port. That makes sense. If you're shouting larboard, but you only hear the second part, you'd have no idea what it is, because there's board in both. So it's, larboard is the loading side, is what it was. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense they swapped them. Huh. Bam. Grab all these. Head north. Fires attack Barbados. Actually, we need to go to Barbados. Quick. When I think about it, we're like right next to it. Let's go grab our videos real quick. Um, your personal favorite is Focusal, which is sh a short term of uh, the forecastle. So that's like the front section of a castle. Welcome to Barbados. Alright. Merchants. Oh my goodness. Spices. All those. We'll also sell off our guns here. Uh, food's actually at a pretty good price. The other's not so much. So we'll, we'll dump a bunch of food here. We only need like 40 tons, six months. We'll hold on to the rest. But this will let us go ahead and figure out some how, laden with loot. How far are, are we from the a Dutch supplies. port? See if we're close to a Dutch port here. Right, grab some more boys. It's true. We have we got we got a lot of supplies, but not the ones we need. Martinique is absolutely abysmal for selling. No, nope, we're not going to grab that. Ah, yes. So let's go grab this best real quick. You will answer to me. Bring him to me. On guard, sir. On guard. Bonk. Gets the port crew quarters uh, on a ship. Ah, the port castle on a ship. Okay, I gotcha. Duck him, sweep him, stab him, jump him, chop him, sweep him. Bonk. You think it's funny just because of all the apostrophes? It was pretty bad. What is with the text being so small? <laughs> Why is the text so small? That's very odd. I've seen that before. Nothing to chat with here, Governor. Peace with the French, uh, with the Spanish, but at war with the French, it's not that helpful. I unfortunately do not have a diamond necklace, I don't know where to find one. Where are you trying to go? You're trying to dispatch an ultimatum that will lead to war with the Spanish? I will personally escort this to Trinidad. I will ensure that it gets there for war. Nice, because that means if we keep hunting the Spanish, then the French, the Dutch, and the English will be happy, so we like this. This is good. This is what we call a good thing. 
Because if we double check our captain's log, yeah, the Spanish are currently at war with everyone. They've got a peace with the English right now, but not for long. Oh, I didn't sell any of our ships. Actually, yeah, because I want to see where a port for. Oh, we'll see. If, we'll, we'll go sell them here, on uh, on Treasure Island. Would you, would you be so kind as to follow me to Treasure Island really quick, or are you gonna give up on me? Treasure Island's back up here. Will you follow me to Treasure Island really quick here, delivering ultimatum ship there? I just want to go and offload some of these ships. Give us more boys to play with during a fight. Yes? Oh, excellent. They'll keep following. Love it. Because this way they sell at full value, because it's a free repair, so they just sell at full value. La Hispaniola we cannot drop, though. We've got too much goods. That's fine. We can hold on to it for now. Tavern. Get any more boys. Veracruz. Anything really too out of the ordinary. There's a lot of people there. 5,200. Uh, Guadalupe is good for... What is it? Goods. Yeah, we'll definitely go there for that. Alright, let's go ahead and take out these privateers. We're going to go ahead and get in the way of us creating war. Yeah, if you want to board me, sure. You actually still want to fight. I cannot believe they want to fight. They've got 26 boys left. You plan on actually using those rings at some point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it at some point. Oh, jeez. Um, wow, okay. Open sweep. Look at the chop. Look at the sweep again. Alright, wait. Okay, duck. Sweep. There we go. Alright, I couldn't just brute force them. I actually had to put a little strategy in there. Yeah, at some point we have to decide who we want to, uh, who we want to romance. So I think we can only romance one person. Which means probably we go ahead and we romance the, um... The beautiful woman in... Oh, uh oh, that's not good. Uh, we probably go romance the beautiful woman in uh, uh, Krakow. Yeah. Uh, the Dutch port, since that's the, uh, the port we started in. We have a lot of uh, a reputation in. And it's also a nice, sturdy port. That's not going to get taken over anytime soon. I don't want to go and like woo one of them, and then we have to go and rescue the town. That's still fun. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna focus on. I think we, I think we get the best advantage of just focusing on one lady to woo instead of multiple. Oh my god, this guy's actually quite tough. Watch him. He's quite fast in comparison. All right, kick him. There we go. A little more back and forth on that fight. All right, now that we're playing on um, adventure difficulty. Uh, the challenges, the challenges start. Are you not following me anymore? Come on, ultimate ship. Let's go. I guess if not, I can kind of take detours wherever I want to. He's not going to get attacked by the Spanish, though, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, food's not worth selling. Guns are literally zero. Is I selling any of these? Yeah, we can sell this one. Ten bucks. I just want to keep our crew on one ship if we can help it. We're completely full on one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, lady, you're beautiful, but uh, your town needs better defenses. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, yeah, we'll get to Trinidad, no problem. Fire ourselves up. Merchants. Wow, ah, these are not worth guns. Yeah, but everything else is just not worth it. Honestly, if we are going to go up to Guadalupe and sell goods for, what was it, 12 or 17? I have no more hold space. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's grab some spare goods. Can I grab some extra guys? Oh my goodness, get aboard, boys. St. Kitts Spices. Wow, 24, okay. Yeah, we don't need to get involved. I don't think there's going to be any info here. 
Ah, okay, we should get some info. <laughs> We need to get, get the barman to talk to us so we can see where um, good old Baron Raimondo is. We need to get more information so we can go get our sister. Or, sorry, our aunt. We got our sister. She was the first person we saved. We got our aunt and uncle. Uncle's saved now, and we're just gonna get the aunt. Funk. Night, night. Got some more boys that want to join us. Fearless. Oh no, that's the mail runner. I actually want that to show up here. Right. Uh, ten boys board. Yeah, Guadalupe, fifteen per ton. Yeah, absolutely worth it. Alright, right, that mail runner's gonna go and start the ultimatum here. They're at peace. They're not gonna fight yet. There we go. The ultimatum has triggered war between the English and the, and the Spanish. Perfect. This, this we like to see. Actually, we don't, they're not going to be able to buy this. They haven't been reset yet. This means that now if we attack the Spanish, we can continue to get our Dutch, English, and French moving along. How old's our avatar? I think we're like 26 or 27 right now. We're starting to get up there in age. Now, Martinique, I believe, had another one that we need to go and grab. Talk to the governor real quick. Give me promotion. Thank you. Counts. I'll oh, take that. How's it going, Bob Bear? Long time no see. How have you been? Extra 500 acres on our estate. Our oh, my goodness, our beautiful. Nope. Can't help. Nope. It's a beautiful daughter. Nope. Not yet. Although, this one here is it's quite desolate. It's not doing so hot. Martinique has definitely been hit a bunch. There's a lot of sugar for sale. You don't say. You do have a lot of sugar for sale, actually. Um, but I don't have enough cargo. Well, I've got cargo space for a little. We're going to take the goods, though, because we know for sure we can sell goods for a, a tiny profit. A hundred and three boys. Get aboard. We're going to wrap a bunch of them. Spices are good here, not good though. French ports repair at cost though. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Now that we have that unlocked. Oh, that, I guess the guy isn't here anymore. Yeah, repairing at cost is really nice. Which is good, so that means we'll repair these at cost here, so just in case we end up going to an English port. Let's start selling off our ships. Get over to Guadalupe here. Sell off all these goods. You really enjoy this game? That's the consensus. This is such a good game. This is a this is a top tier pirate game. And really, if if they just made this game, but you know, modern, this game would sell so ridiculously well. I think a lot of pirate games that are out there these days are a little like over the top. Um, and just like have a whole bunch of like extra stuff going on that just isn't needed. Actually, I'll even sell some food. This, that's a really good food price. This place is brimming with wealth, no kidding. If we lose two crew, that's fine. We have two fully manned ships, that's great. Governor? Another beautiful daughter. This one we can actually go for since, like, I'm sure that Guadalupe isn't going to be conquered. So Guadalupe and uh, Krakow are the two places that we can go to right now. If we wanted to go and uh, woo a beautiful daughter. Oh, I don't know this song that well. Let's see if we can do it. I'll be honest, we actually don't do a lot of dances with the with French with the French individuals. The parts are good. The spin's going. Okay. Oh, there goes spins. We're not crushing it with the spins right now. There we go. I get them extra hearts. Yes. Turn it 
missed it. We're doing pretty well, though. We are getting a good number of spins in, but not enough spins. I want more spins. That's the end of the song here. No, it's not. We're still going? Okay. Oh, I stumbled. Oh, I hit I hit five. Oh my goodness. My fingers got on the wrong keys. I hit five instead of eight. That uh that really knocked us back on our uh, attraction there. <laughs> Brutal. Right at the end of the song too. Ah darn. If only move forward was uh, five instead of eight, because you have seven or one, nine or three. So, but we still got the information we needed, and that's what matters. Did you not want to have a Dutch wife? I think we're going to go for the Dutch one, just because that's how we started. And we are sort of like furthest along with um, Admiral P and whatnot with them. don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, we actually can't take any more boys. We're actually completely full. Ooh, Bert Roberts treasure. Where? Search in the... Nice. It's 400 bucks. Come back with a better map next time, please. Flying hearts. We're not going to attack that. All right, let's go ahead and get this blackmailer. I'm going to pick up all these blackmailers that we learned about from all the, uh, the, <laughs> the mass quantity of dancing that we've done. All right, Mr. M. Shawshank. Take a sweep. Take a chop. Oh my goodness, he's so agile. We'll do the same. Oh my gracious. What was that move? That was insane. That was so fast. Also, we get 4,000 and the... So tiny in here. I don't know why the text is so small. Chip rate. We have to drop a lot more goods if we're going to do that. Uh, where else did we want to go? Was there anywhere else up here we needed to go to? Oh, yeah, we need to go here. Antigua. Antigua has another one. We have 387 troops. We could probably go and flip a town if we wanted to. We could flip the allegiance of a town. If you want to do that, you need to head out. Uh, but hope you can see you tomorrow for State of Decay 2 or Conan. We'll be doing State of Decay 2 tomorrow. We're back on the regular schedule, Critter. We're back on the regular schedule. Conan will jump back onto in the next chapter. So in like five, six weeks. We'll be back, John. For like two or three weeks, depending. <laughs> but we're, we're back on our normal schedule for now. So we'll probably blast through this game in a week, in like two weeks, three at most. And we'll have another vote. Uh, State of Decay 2, we're getting pretty far along in that run as well, so we might have a vote for that one soon too. So there might be some uh, big switches in games soon here. Uh, Alright, let's go to the ship rank. So good. Merchants. Oh my goodness, goods are nothing here. We're going to buy all your goods. I'm also going to buy all your luxuries. I'm also going to buy all your food. I'm just going to buy them out of everything. Uh -huh. Unbelievably cheap. Ah, oh, good. The other portion of the map. This is not. This is not what we needed. Skull Shallows. I know we've seen it before. I just don't remember where that is. I know we've sailed past it. There he is, Santiago. All right, let's go grab this guy. Time for the next one. On guard, good sir. Get down there, man. That kick to the chest is just brutal. <laughs> Alright, take care, Critter. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Big chomp. Big sweep. What's he gonna do? Fuck him. And slash him. Good old bonk to the head. Another 3k? Uh, governor? That's war with the evil French? <gasps> and or the evil Spanish and the slimy French? Oh, no way! Who knew? I'll accept the invitation, see if she can get us uh, some more info on anything. We need to go and start hitting up some Spanish territory here. 
If I could rebind 8 to 5, or even rebind 2 to 5, either or would be nice. Having 5 in the center there and sometimes me accidentally hitting it is pretty brutal. Start focusing on spins. Slow. One. Oh my goodness, how am I getting zero spins here? There we go. Got a couple of spins in there. Oh my goodness, we're crushing it. Oh my goodness, I'm so focused. I'm struggling to talk. I'm done. Back. Turn. Turn again. Back. Turn. Okay. Turn again. Back up. Turning. Oh my goodness, back up. Turn. Back. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, the game even, like, paused for a second there. Wow, we turned that around real quick. <laughs> dancing queen. We're a dancing queen. Oh, my goodness. We got a twirl on her, too. We crushed it. How's it going, Lord of the Onion Rings? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've seen you in chat. Hopefully you're doing really well. All right, so we learned more about Bernamundo. I know the name of the ship now. This is good. So we've already done everything here. Merchants have bought everything. Quiet and desolate town. There's some some good stuff here. All right, let's jump over here. Let's see what they got. Doing good. Excellent. I have to hear it. Oh my goodness, luxuries are worth way more over here than over there. Food, not so much though. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll, we can't grab them right now. Uh, okay, we'll drop luxuries. It's not the best pricing, but uh, we'll grab food instead okay. and sell it off. Goods for eight. That's that's acceptable. We'll sell as much as he's willing to take. That's acceptable. Still can't drop this, though. It's way too much in there. What you got? Ah, the last piece of the treasure map. Oh, it's by Guadalupe. I was like, I feel like we've seen this. Rum head and a shallow, uh, skull shallow. It's perfect. We know how to get there. And Romando is now fully upgraded. Okay. Uh, Karaka's daughter is a real beauty. The governor. I'm assuming you don't have anything for me. We've got another invitation to the ball. Here we go. I'm hoping we can get some more uh, Lost City information from doing these. Because that was great, getting us started to go find that uh, the hidden Inca treasure, which was 50,000 gold pieces. So ideally we can go ahead and get them to spill the beans about that as well. Come on. Go back. We spin. We spin. We spin. Nothing but spinning. Okay, well, uh, I guess I guess not spinning anymore. Okay. Focus. We're slowly zooming in. We're getting there. Back it up. Then back it up. And again. Back it up. Continue to spin. Okay, here we go. Now we're crushing it. Right at the end. I think I think we just might get a twirl out of her. Come on! No, oh, only a wink. Dang, so close. That means it gave you some civilization flashbacks right there. <laughs> ah, where is this man? Oh, and Leogani. I think that's nearby, right? Leogani, isn't that nearby? 
merchant. Let's see, we sold everything we can already. Perfect. Lugani, is that nearby? No, it's not. Way over here. Right. Yeah, there it is. All right, it's it's on our way to Santiago though. Which is good. Definitely go do that. Got so many hearts everywhere. It's hysterical. Um let's see, is anyone up here got some good wow, luxury sell well good. Sell well is there as well. St. Kitts, not so much. Nevis. Okay, yeah, so let's set up let's head up north. But first we're on Guadalupe here. The troops arrived. Alright, there we go. Pictures over here. You still have your Civ 4 uh, binges every often, every now and then. I mean, there are some games that, you know, sometimes you just have to go back to and play a little bit here and there. There's, there's some old games that are just like, you know what? I haven't played this in too long. It must be done. But I think it's right here. That's where we go ahead and lay anchor. Right? Where we place, uh, let anchor loose. Yeah. Because we're right next to the Arch Rock here, so it's right over here. Just beyond vision range. <laughs> Within vision range of the town, too. Alright. How much do we get from Burt? What do you leave us? A whopping... 3,000 gold pieces. I think Dalk is right. <laughs> because, we, because we knocked out so many pirates so quickly, uh, a lot of these treasure maps are probably not going to give us a lot of money. Transporting immigrants... Where are you going to? Okay. Uh, what's the wars like right now? Okay, so this, okay, darn. So the French have actually made up with the Spanish. It's unfortunate. We just need to go and hit any Spanish we see. The only ones the the Dutch are at war with. Rock. All right, let's go ahead and sell this off, and let's head over to Santiago. I attack Guadalupe. Wait, what? Why would you attack Guadalupe? They're like nice and well defended. Yeah, a bunch of goods. Wow, that's so much money on here. Most of the food is actually sells at a good price too. That's good. So we could sell the other ship if we wanted to. I'm tempted to hold on to this ship because we have all the crew. Yeah. Oh, Harry Morgan's treasure map? Yep, I'll take that. Uh, the advantage of having the crew is I think we might go flip another city somewhere. Bring in some more immigrants. Actually, do I need to hire anyone else? Oh, no, we're still full. With 300 and change. We have so many boys. All right, yep, we brought some criminals to justice. Oh, we made it. We're a duke. We are done. And sports ship upgrades are done at cost in Dutch ports. And we got an extra 450 acres outside of town. And we'll take the invitation. Absolutely. All right, time to dance. Oh, jeez, it's a fast dance, too. Okay. We'll get the spins in any moment here. There we go. Back. Spin to the left. Spin to the left. Okay. There we go. This is this part I'm really good at. We do we do quite well with the spin moves here. We get like 50% spin moves. I'm like regularly getting very close to getting the twirls at the end, but just not quite. Okay. Good. Oh, 
I'm so focused. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The spin, oh my god, I'm not ready. <laughs> back. Left. Back. Left. And back again. Oh my goodness. That At the end there suddenly got really complicated. I don't think we're getting a spin. Oh, we did get a spin! Oh my goodness, it crushed it. I honestly was not expecting that. Alright, still just Baron Amanda stuff. Not hidden treasures. Dead. Okay. Uh, but none of these are at cost, so we might as well just upgrade ships. Alright. Let's take a look at the map here real quick. So if we look over where Santiago is, there's just a lot of French and Spanish ports here. We should get an English or a Dutch port in this zone. Oh, we got Port Royal already over here. We should we can get a Dutch port over here. Uh, who's not that strong? We could do it for Petit Grave if we wanted. Or for uh, Leogan. Leogani? Le Leogany? I don't know how this is pronounced. I have no idea. Uh, we can go for those, or we can go for Tortuga. But Tortuga actually looks like it's pretty sturdy. Tortuga would be better, I think, though. Because it'd be on the north side. But Baron Romando's over here. I don't really want to go for this, because you have to like go all the way in. It's really obnoxious. You can't just swing on past it. I think we might get another Dutch one going here. Spread them around, make it a little easier for us, because we get free repairs and everything from them. It's good to do. Also, where did this bring us? No way. We have 387 troops. We could definitely do it. The Tortuga is a giant mech. Massive mech. Beyond all comprehension. Finish mother. Get him! We need some food anyway. Charge him down. Don't let him sneak away now. Alright, hit the troops. And let's get him. Still want to fight. Alright. Get him. Get in there. Oh. Flat on down. Oh, sorry. Great, not giant. Reading. Tortuga <laughs> is a great mech. Not a giant mech. Oh, aren't, aren't all mechs giant? Is, isn't every mech large? Like, like big, big level large? Or no? Port. Yikes. Oh my goodness, sugar's actually quite expensive here. Food's left isn't it's pretty inexpensive, so we can go ahead and grab some here. The luxuries are not worth selling here. A shipwright. Ever. Ah, good. Oh, near San Juan. Hold on a second. <laughs> We're literally here right now. Hold on. We're like literally right next to San Juan right now. The next game you're playing on Sundays, Lancer, has a major manufacturer by the name uh the names are mech modules uh, models after naval stuff. Mostly commanders. Ah, okay. Big sweeps. Big sweeps. Big sweeps. He seems to be weak at the knees. The big sweeps are all we need. We might actually just go fishing around, honestly. More boys want to join the crew? Actually, I'm totally down for that right now. Extra hundred men. I'm bored. Right, so he's still over there. We're near San Juan right now. But hold on. The island is not that big. Let's go to the other side of San Juan and see if we can figure it out. This island is not that big. Oops, get away. No! I'm trying to... Okay, so maybe we can't land there, so maybe it's over here then. 
set anchor here. Right. I'm gonna be able to figure this out on our own. So we've got a head here. Oh! I was gonna take the map out! Who needs a map when you can just see it? Easy. Alright, how much does this guy have for us? 10,000! Hey! Henry Morgan did last quite a while before we ended up stopping him. That's pretty good. Put us at 60k now. Perfect. Alright. Because currently we only have... Yeah, we just know it's around Gibraltar, but we don't know where around Gibraltar. So let's go and grab this guy one more time, since he should just be right here. Port Freedom... Over there. Central Domingo. We go to Santiago. Actually, a little further. Over here. Right? Or was it Santo Domingo? Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, it was Santiago. That is what I thought. Alright, let's go to Santo Domingo and just drop off some stuff here. The Drake, the Nelson. The kid, and they got the Tortuga, a big old mech meant to hold uh, breaches. I mean, that makes sense. With a lot of shotguns. I mean, that makes sense. The Tortuga should be a slow, a slow-moving ship of any kind. I almost say you. Oh, we lose crew. So let's hold on to the crew for now. Luxuries aren't worth much. It's a little expensive, unfortunately, but we need it. We're going, we're going big on the crew here. Go ahead and let's get 60 tons of food. It's gonna be a little expensive. But I wanna keep I wanna keep a large crew here. Completely full. Oh my goodness, Havana's buying spices for an absurd amount. I'm not gonna go hit them. He's still there. From St. Augustine to Santiago. Okay, so he's still in Santiago. We're good. Mayor's gonna hate us, yeah? Oh, can't help your daughter, sorry. What is this? Offering peace? Nah, I doubt any I don't I don't think you're going to need to have anyone escort this ship. It's be perfectly fine. Sure it won't be an issue. Oh my goodness, if the French actually attack that, we're not gonna hit the payroll ship. No. Will that actually attack this ship? Please? No? Oh my goodness, this Dutch raider just annihilated him. Oh, but the Dutch are at war. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Luxuries, food, sugar. Nah, I'll just skip on all that. Good right. Uh, Aaron, then. Oh, okay, so he's still here. He hasn't moved. Good, so we like to see. We want to make sure that we're not going and chasing him down. Ah, Lafayette's treasure. That's a good one. He's, but he was the last guy for us to beat. Get him, treasure. Uh, get him, Dutch raider. Yeah, there we go. The war shall not end. Excellent. Oh, Sentinel just got hit by uh, tribes. And, wait, what? Oh my good. Holy gee. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. All right, let's go to Petty Grove real quick. So, is. But Petty Grove is not one we want to go and swap. We need to swap one from a French, though. We have to pick off, piss off the French enough that we can fight them. Luxuries that's worth selling here. Shipwright. It could drop some boys. Ooh, we should. Ooh, hold on. Baron. Got anything else for me? Augustine's got nothing good for us. 12 is the highest on there for goods. It's fine. Yeah, it's like just it's just all French here. We're not at war with any of the French though. Do we want to be? No, we just want to fight the Spanish. It's like fighting the Spanish is good for everything. I don't think I really want to change over Santiago, to be honest. Or say we we could do Santiago. I don't want to do um, San Diego or no Santiago. I was right. 
I want to change them over. There aren't that many. It's mostly French over here. The French are really kind of taking over this territory. These guys are evenly spaced. Yeah, I think going and grabbing Tortuga would probably be best, to be honest. We'd have to piss off the French if we want to do that, though. Not really our goal. Alright. Oh yeah, look at all the Dutch here. A bunch of Dutch privateers roaming around. A brand new warship? Are the Dutch privateers going for that warship, by the way? No? I think that's him right there. Is that him? That is him. Okay, we'll grab him. A fast galleon. You know what? We'll take it. We'll grab this. That might get us a promotion into the French port. Oh my gosh, they only have 80 crew members? Just board them. Good. We don't need it. We don't need to do any of this skirmishing nonsense. Just get in here and win in a sword fight or buy attrition. He's only got 67 guys left. I'm not actually landing anything on him. There we go. There's a chap. Oh my good gracious! I can't land a blow on him at all. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the challenge has begun. This is good. I like seeing this. Quick retaliation. Oh, I didn't jump. I tried to parry. Oh, I... rude. There we go. Oof. I guess that actually took a lot more effort than I was expecting. Wow. They're getting more difficult. Oh uh, yeah, so he's, he's on his way over here somewhere. But well, we've already seen him. Right. So actually, real quick, a fast galleon. Not a flag galleon. Fast galleon. The war galleon fast galleons are smaller and lighter versions of the flag galleon. Okay, so... 180, 160 crew, 24 guns, slow wide. So it's not really better. The fast galleon, I don't really like too much looking at this. I think like a, uh, what is it, the bark or the brigantine or whatever the top version of that one is, is better. Oh, we'll go ahead and we'll sell the ship. Money is money. That's what matters. Uh, the Tortuga is slow, uh, but it also has really good computer and sensor packages. That's a really strong hacker. That makes sense. Use, uh... Go ahead and use IT attacks. Cyber attacks, since uh, you can't run into close range. Attack. We don't, we don't care about the Indian <laughs> war canoes. They're, they're fine. Don't worry about them. Alright, Ramondo. It still doesn't have more crew than us. it has got more guns. We can honeybee in with some grape shot. Wow, did I miss all of those? Looks like I did. Much better. Oh, let's have to eat some shots. Come on. Come on. We just need a little more ump from the wind. All right. All right, Baron Armando. We got 50 more troops in you, so we can stall if things get bad. I can just go full defense if we need to. Eventually, we'll have to start using the cutlass for uh, for a strong defense. Right, there you go. It's surrendered. There it is. Blackhead. All right, to Gibraltar we go. All right, where is Gibraltar? I don't recall. Is Gibraltar? I actually don't remember where it is. I feel like it's on the south side of the map. Quick. Gibraltar. 
That is on the south side. Oh, it's down. Okay, no wonder I didn't think about it. It's down in that, like, alcove. Alright. Let's head down there. Actually, while we're down there, we might be able to go and grab a... We might be able to go and grab a city while down there. According to governor, we'll let you do that. It's fine. Uh, hacking stuff in the Lancer game is basically magic in any other game. You can move people, you can jam their guns so they can't attack, you can make their reactors hot and spicy. And sometimes maybe make... <laughs> sometimes make a bit of a nuclear whoops. So it's like, um, yeah, it's like splicers and like in a lot of games. I do like the, the kind of like tech magic you get in, uh, in many games. All right, we're gonna have to sell some of these ships. We got way too many of these suckers. Speaking of which, go hit up the Mexicano here. We're just gonna go board it. We've got so few crew. We don't have to do it, we just have the board. Hi. Hey, uh, I'll be taking your ship, thank you. And they're like, yeah, sure, uh-huh, sure, yep, of course. There you go. New worship. I'm not gonna go track it down. Uh, Santa Marta. Grab this guy. Alright. Grab you. Oh, not change. Grab you. Same thing. We're just going to run you. Run you down. We have a third of our crew size. We got less than a third of our crew size. There we go. I'll be taking that. Spanish pirate hunter. Uh oh. Get the sloop. Oh, wind. Not on my side. Good. Distance. I don't think any of that's gonna hit. No. Poorly shot. If I do say so myself. There we go, that's a good shot right there. Strong. Uh, okay, well that was a good retaliation. Oh no, my sails, you monster! Well, that's not good. They're gonna try and sink the ship. Okay. Oh, my favorite kind of combat. <laughs> one where we're one knot faster than these guys are. Row, boys, row! Row faster! We've got him! shots. Real faster, men. We've got him now. Right, we, uh, uh, real sailing issues right now. All right. Uh, let's go, like, actually, wait a second. Yeah, we can get a port over here. We could get what a we could get a Dutch port over here, because then we'll just have Dutch and Spanish, and then when we try and actually that could work, because then when we if we can get a bunch of Dutch in here, then when we try and get the Spanish to like us, if the Spanish and the Dutch are at war, we can then just flip flop and just continue to wiggle our way around here. That'd be good. Let's go ahead and let's make this one Dutch too. All right, attack the town. Prepare for battle. Implication. Ooh, this is actually a pretty bad spot. Here's pretty good. We can funnel. We can funnel from here. This, this looks like pretty good. Oh my goodness, look how many officers we have. 50, 56 officers. Uh, Buccaneers, we're going to have to uh, switch to a different unit here. 
fire stick move. Move him up to buffer. Uh, these buccaneers are going to move up. Uh, let's keep them on the high ground. Uh, these buccaneers are going to do the same. Move them up to the high ground up here. Uh, pirates. Uh, let's go ahead and skip their turn for a second. Uh, these buccaneers can get hiding in the, bush, in the bushes here. Move you in. And then we can move these pirates in. Just make sure we don't have any of them get uh, caught in. Okay, those guys going in the... Okay, we'll have the officers go grab the ones in the jungle. We'll buffer those guys. And then the buccaneers, we can start firing them down. Lay waste. Uh, pirates, let's move up. Buffer. Uh, I don't want to attack yet, so let's go ahead and jump to a different guy. Yep. See if that other buccaneer can go ahead and clear out that guy real quick here. Is that enough to clear him? Yes, he retreated for it. Right. Move these guys up to go and... There's a regular pirate there. Yeah, so we can go ahead and we can intercept and take these guys out. Perfect. will fire at us, but we got cover. No problems at all. And the officers will take them down. They might have the height advantage, but uh, our officers get a five attack, which is ridiculous. Easily broke them down. No chance. 3,000 gold pieces. Nice. All right. Here's to the Dutch. Dutch governor. Things are going well. Hey! He decided to just give us 600 acres outside the land. Uh, outside of the... City here. He couldn't promote us, but he just gave us 600. I will happily take that. Alright, let's see if we can get some more knowledge. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. Alright, let's try and get some spin moves in. Ready for a spin. Oh, come on. Thought we had that. A spin. Oh, come on. There it is. Come on. Hey. Okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, I think my I think my skill's starting to decrease because I'm getting tired. I'm, I'm like really focusing now. <laughs> Come on, we've got this. Okay. I think we're just gonna get a wink at this point, unless I can get a big combo of spins. I stopped breathing there for a moment. I was focusing so hard. <laughs> we are only going to get a wink. We're not going to get a twirl. There's no way. What you got? 7,000, you say? In San Juan? Hmm. You don't say, huh? Ah, yes. That will take more of this. Uh, knife head. Knife head rock near somewhere. All right. If we find if if someone's his knife head, let me know. Alien. How many stinks around here? Yeah. Well, we did just plunder this place, so you know. We're not gonna grab any extra boys. Wow, we can't sell any of this for anything. We take the sugar though. Worth quite a bit. Actually, let's just like completely stock up on food. But let's offload a bunch of guns, because three three for guns is pretty good. Imagine if like actually dropping off guns in here did increase the military might of this place. We just gave him like just give him almost a hundred cannons. Oh my goodness, upgrading it actually makes them more expensive. 
Ah, die ist da. Aha. 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 Hm. Pairs. Aha. Aha. Upgrade, repair. Aha. Aha. Upgrade, repair. Aha. Aha. Perfect. <laughs> wow. That's a thing. Uh, I guess... Can we grab more boys? Yeah, we can. Let's grab more boys. We might be swapping another city or two here. Uh, so who else is at war with the Spanish? French. So we can get it. Let's get a French outpost down here. It's going to take another one. So Gibraltar is down here. So maybe we go for uh, Maracabo. We just give that to the French. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Go over to Maracabo and give it to the French. We'll leave uh, Rio de la Hoya as Spanish since Baron Romando comes here often. Kind of want to make sure he'll keep coming back to this territory and just kind of uh, linger around. Don't want to scare him off, you know? Right, let's get a little bit further to the east here. Let's try and go south. On wind. Help me out here. Go around these reefs. London. Yeah, we're not nearly as far along as I was hoping. Alright. Hurricane, push me! Push me! The wrong direction. Alright, so it's fine. I'll just increase prosperity. Not a big deal. They're not going to carry a lot of stuff. They'll have just food mostly on them. Oh my good gracious, we're fighting the wind and it sucks! We just need to get around this one section. Gonna shoot ourselves up a bit then. That Dutch Raider's taking quite a beating over here. It's a privateer. Okay, made it up and around. Transporting a new governor. Everyone thread the needle? Perfect. Alright, so this get us in. Yeah, okay, perfect. Maricava's down here. Let's go ahead and hit Maricava real quick. Might as well grab this, uh... This grain shipment real quick here. Just make sure we have all the food we need. Since we are going to be kind of floating. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> That's okay. We'll be all loaded up by the time we get down here. Wide shot, a grape shot. Let's go ahead and have them surrender. Oh, it was good. I was expecting more food than that. Huh. It's a pirate hunter. I think that's going to stop me. The Severano. Try again. Oh, that did get us. Barely clipped him. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Contact. All right. Sit down, you. You've only got sixty men. Three times your troop complement. And that's just on this ship. Like another ship. 416 pirates versus 240 soldiers. Alright, Maracabo. Time to flip ya. What's nice is, regardless, we only ever get six troops, so it just means our troops are sturdier. Man, this is. Yeah, let's, let's fight over here. I don't like this terrain. There's way too much cover. 72 officers in our company here. Mears. I will have some pirates go this way, though. Cover our flanks. Uh, let's swamp over to these buccaneers. These buccaneers go this way. 
We're gonna have the buccaneers follow the officers and we'll have the uh, front pirates go ahead and swing around for the melee. So we're essentially just gonna use the officers to plug the gap. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do this. And get you in here. They've got some natives helping them. Get you around. I don't know if they can see from here. Might need to get them on the high ground. Move the officers up. Buccaneers up. Have you fire from here. So we're actually going to take, take that back. Let's send these buccaneers in for firing support for these three. Looks like they're more spread out than I was expecting. Oh, that's actually quite bad for our officers. That's quite, quite a bit of damage. Good cover. We like this. That's jeez. Yeah, that, this is what I was worried about. That's why I need to get these buccaneers down here to help. Uh, we got some angry, angry officers. We're just going to go ahead and clear these guys out immediately. They might have the... Uh, we, oh, we've got the high ground. They might have the morale, but... We got it covered. Alright, let's fire. These guys can just fire out. We need to move them. Uh, no, we're not going to use you yet. Yeah, fuck mirrors. Can we clear out this troop? Oh, well, not quite. Um, let's go ahead and move you boys up. And if we move these buccaneers up, can they get a shot off? No, they can't. We'll have to move here. Angry pirates. I don't really want them to expose themselves. Go ahead and take out these natives instead. Take out these archers. And then we'll have you guys move into cover. Go ahead and flank. Ooh, jeez, I was did not see that coming. Yeah, the flag's right there. I should have. But yeah, we just lost a com uh, company of troops. Oh, they're still standing? Seriously? Wow. All right. We'll sneak attack from behind then. Oh, look at that flank. Times two. That's a ten versus five. Not even close to a chance. We'll be able to just blast these guys down with our muskets. Easy. 4,400 gold pieces. Nice. And we'll give this to a French nobleman. Hello, French governor. Don't You're at war with the English and the Dutch. You recently installed a French governor. Me. And Maracabo, excellent. Can we move, please? Ah, we are now Marquis. Oh. Alright, so trade us more. Perfect. And 200 acres of land outside. Perfect. Go ahead and accept this invitation. Let's see if we can get a little bit of knowledge. Come on, ma'am. Get some spin moves going here. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, we had some good spins there. It was four spins in a row. That was really good. That was strong. Come on. Where are my spins? There it is. Spin. Spin. Oh my goodness. Oh, still not getting them spins in. There's one. Come on. Oh, we're doing really well. I'm so focused. Oh, we're definitely getting a twirl out of her. We crushed it. Crushed it. A perfect twirl. 
Then Raimondo. Okay, yep. We already know about that. Alright, Tavern. What you got? Yes. Trinidad. Ah, nothing. Okay, I was kind of hoping that they'd have some good sales over there. Hey, Baron Raimondo is right over here. Perfect. So you can swing over to him. Dent. Over here stinks. We need, new go we need a new governor. He was just installed, but we need a new one. Um. Um. I don't think we're going to install anyone else in the moment. Oh my gosh, this is great. Let's get uh, three repairs. Yeah, let's see if we can sell some stuff here. Oof. Uh, hard no. We can take some more sugar, though. At a really good price. Uh, nope. Right to Gibraltar. What are we doing in Gibraltar again? Was that for this? No, was that for our our aunt? All right, we get our aunt real quick here. There's Blackhead. That's Blackhead right here, essentially straight across from Blackhead. More or less right here. All right, where's our aunt? Where'd you go? Up on top of this hill. If we can't see her from here, we'll pull out the map. Buildings. Oh, that's our ship. Cool. I actually don't think I ever looked at it. Yeah. All right. Where? Over here. Stoneheads. North of the geyser. South. Of the dead tree. There's a the geyser. So north of the geyser, south of the dead tree. Like right here somewhere. There's a city here. Wait. There's my ships right here. Wait, that's not my ship. Who are you? Oh, wow, I actually didn't know it continued to simulate the world while we were doing this. Actually, wild. Okay, I think I got completely turned around. Guys are in a totem is what I'm looking for. Totem, that's a geyser. There's a head. From this totem looking north. We got a geyser over there. That's definitely not it. Alright, hold on, let's let's redo this. Let's do this but from a little bit further up. Alright, so right next to a stone head. So right here, we're next to one of these stone heads. So it should be just due west. There's a totem. Hmm. Uh, should just be due west, right? Band building, band building. Is that it right there? That's it right there. We found her. We saved our aunt. Knock. I have arrived. All right. Nice. You have rescued your long lost aunt. Uh, I have an amazing story to tell you, she says. While being captive, I managed to obtain a piece of a map to a legendary lost city, the Aztecs. I trust you with the map for safekeeping. Perfect. I mean, it's a start. It's a, it's a start. Uh, no. I can take that right now. All right, let's take a look here. So if we take a look at this, how are we doing here? Oh my goodness, we are crushing it. Nine out of nine pirates, five out of nine treasures. We got an eight, a seven. We really need to work on the English. And oh my goodness, we actually have a bounty for the, the Spanish are pissed. A 10,000 gold bounty for killing us. Oh, geez. Uh, our wealth points are getting there. We got a decent amount of wealth at this point. 28K and over 10,000 acres worth of land. Uh, we haven't done really much with 
uh, with romancing. We've got, looks like there's four lost cities in total, and there's four lost family members. So we need to go get our last family member we have lost. I don't actually remember who it is. We're crushing it right now. Definitely gonna have to go and drop some of these guys. We have too many. I don't think we're gonna go and flop, flip flop any more um, groups. So as we start selling the stuff out, we'll let the crew go. You're gonna know uh, why some jerk kidnapped your family and sequestered them all the way in the Caribbean, uh, specifically in random huts in the middle of nowhere. I don't know the last part as to why they're in the middle of nowhere, but for all we know, what they really could be, oh, they're all happy, nice. Oh my goodness, we're almost 30. Uh-oh, we're starting to run out of time here. We're going to start having slower reflexes and like, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up and finish everything. Um, But the... So they were sold into indentured servitude because of their debts. For all we know, they were given to... uh natives for sacrifices or something like give they gave our gave our family members to remnants of the uh, the old aztec empire for sacrifices to the sun god for all we know no clue good question but we are gonna have to end it here today we're gonna have to end it here today we'll be back again tomorrow for state of decay 2 so we'll be playing more sid Meier's pirates next week the rate at which we're going, I think we might be able to finish this playthrough next week. So I'll start prepping this weekend. I'll start prepping the vote list just in case, just in case we end up beating it. I mean, it is a pretty quick game though. You know, it's an older game, pretty quick. We could look at doing another playthrough if we wanted to, but I don't know. Like we've done a couple of these attack missions for like, swapping over who owns a territory and they're a pretty easy and b a little mundane they're not too difficult like strategy wise I'm, i don't know i don't know if i'd want to do a whole playthrough of focusing on that but i think it said once we finish this run uh of being the best gosh darn pirate we possibly can try and we'll, we'll get as close as we can to 100 percenting it but uh it, we're we're on the uh, clock for when our age becomes a problem. But we'll get a vote list going soon. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. I'm having an absolute blast with this game. And as always, it's way more fun when everyone else is here to join me. So have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you tomorrow for State of Decay 2. Take care. Bye-bye.